right? Like there was there was basically no difference between the PS1 and PS2 controller other than like the the rebranding as the DualShock 2. What did they actually change? I mean, nope. Mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> Some of the colors, I think, were different. <laughs> nah, I'm sure, like, they're a little bit different. If I pulled out one of my PS1 DualShock controllers, I'm sure I'd be able to tell the difference. But, like, off the top of my head, I can't actually remember what's any different about them. Okay, so what do we got? We got the fuse. We got the power cable. We got the oil. The wrench just feels right. Uh, we probably don't need two full heals taken with us, but I don't think we're going to be picking anything up on our way there. And hopefully there will be a save point that we can get to easily enough once we're there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Why don't, why don't we just go ahead and, uh, we'll take both full heals. Fuck it. But we're, we're going to drop off the ink ribbon though. We don't need the ink ribbon at this point. We just loaded into the game. So obviously it's already saved up. Honestly, feel-wise, the three felt about the same, too. I mean, you're not wrong. Just honestly, like, yeah, <laughs> it's it's very similar. I, I think if I remember correctly, actually, I can grab my three controller. It's out. My PS1 controller's on. Because, of course, the PS2 controller is backwards compatible with the PS1, so I just use it on both consoles. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so it... It feels larger in the hand, although its I don't think it technically is at all. But it feels a little bit larger in the hand, right? Um, the joysticks... I mean, they're a little bit looser, but that could just be the one that I have. And then, of course, the, the actual difference is the triggers on the back. They're actual triggers now on the PS3 instead of just analog buttons so like there's that <laughs> but like that that's pretty much it oh and then uh the ps3 might have had digital buttons instead of analog but i don't remember because the ps2 controller for sure and i think the ps1 controller actually all of the face buttons are analog so you have uh like different pressure sensitivity to them. I don't know why you would ever really use that. I mean, like, <laughs> it, it, there are some games that do, like driving games, for instance, your accelerator will be on X. So the harder you press X, the faster you accelerate. Um, you know, simulating like pressing down the pedal in the car or whatever. But like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to, to gauge the pressure, I feel like on the X button. Holy shit, I got lucky. What'd you get lucky with, Rue? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to hear it, but <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what happened. Do you mean you got lucky because you made it to the stream at a decent time, or, like, did something good happen IRL? I'm hoping something good happened IRL. No notification, but I remember the timing, so you took a chance. Hey! Well, I'm happy you made it, man. I wonder why you didn't get the notification. My phone doesn't give me notifications, like, on anything, either. Like, I don't get Discord notifications half the time. I don't get uh, Twitch notifications. Like, so I, I feel the pain there, man. Like, I never fucking get notifications. It's trash. Uh, pull up the map. We are going the right way, right? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the car. We can't really, like, see. It's not saying the name of it for some reason. But that is the car. So wait, is that all the maps? If so, we're like almost halfway through the game. I actually kind of figured we were almost halfway through the game. Uh, HOTB, how long to pee? Ooh, what's going on here? Uh, dude about to get fucked. That's what's going on here. Not in a good way. Is he dead? Look, I'm trying to save you, bro. Oh, shit, he's got this. Don't shoot the barrel. Barrel bad. Barrel go boom. <laughs> There's definitely upgrades that just felt similar in the hand. Yeah, yeah, very true. Oh, there you go. Roll the barrel over the dead bodies. The dead bodies definitely wouldn't stop the barrel from exploding. Like... <laughs> 
Kyle. Cheesy is so nostalgic. The, the cheese. It is, man. My it's people. cheesy as hell. They were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Ah, how sweet. Hey, Noodle. Glad you can make it, love. Sorry. I feel so useless. Kind of are useless, TBH. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. Well, Dude Bro's gonna be a zombie here in a moment, so, uh. <laughs> That's good, man. Happy about that. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. Power cable is disconnected. Fuse is broken. Oil has been used up. Yeah, we got all that. Let's dump some oil in this bitch and get going. Fuck this menu's taking forever to load. Come on now. What are the chances she's gonna hook up with him before that? Zero. Like, I don't think it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> now nah, she's got the hots for that other guy. The one that we were with in the, uh, the gas station, right? That's who she wants to hook up with. power cable look at that man all we need is some oil and this bitch will be going in no time wait what what do you mean oil alone this is not enough for this machine what some of the parts seem to be out of order mixed oil has been used up fuck what else do we need? <laughs> I could not save my men. I'm sorry you couldn't save your men, but like we've been everywhere. What else do we need? We got oil. Oil is not enough. So wait, do we need like we need like a gas can or something? Fuck, man. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Before you forget, guess who has an actual monitor for the desktop now? You can fucking see? That's dope, dude. That's really nice, actually. Like, I have mine, uh, my laptop set up to my TV. Because, like, there is uses, right? To having a monitor, or, like, a TV as a monitor. Especially when you're just, like, playing games and shit like that. But like when I'm just sitting down trying to do something at the computer, like a real monitor, that's you kind of need it, man. Fuck, I have no idea what we need. Like we've been everywhere, right? Like I guess we haven't unlocked that door there. So maybe there's something over there, but every other door we've unlocked, so that's the only place we got left to even try. So I think we go into here and loop around or something? No, we can't, though, because that whole shit's on fire there, right? Shit, bro. I have no idea what the hell we need to do now. Like, <laughs> I thought we were so ready to go. Like, I thought we were going to have this thing up and moving in no time. I still love that scene right there. The one that we just went through. The no bikes and then there's a bike just parked. Like five feet away. <laughs> like like at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just a bike. But bruh, that, that just like petty little show of uh, you can't control me. They got going on right there. I'm here for it. It's perfect. Japanese food and delivery. Hell yeah. Uh, you're annoying and you already like bit me once 
So if you want to die, actually, that'd be great. Thanks, Zombro. There's nothing of interest here. I'm just going around clicking on fucking everything now because I have no idea what the hell we, uh, what we missed, man. You got fancy Rocky Mountain spring water today? That's dope. Hey, we finally tried, uh, Liquid Death the other day. New to one I'm. By the other day, I mean probably like a week or so ago. Like, it's been a little while, actually, but... <laughs> but we finally tried it out. It's good. My only problem with it is, is that, like, you expect it to be pop, right? Because it's in a pop can. So whenever you take a drink of it, you're like... I don't know, you just, you expect something sweet or flavorful of some kind. And instead, it's just water. So, like, it's a little, it's a little trippy on the brain there. But other than that, like, it's fine. It just tastes like water. Um, and I like what they're doing with the whole, you know, cans being recyclable thing. I appreciate that. But sparkling or regular? Regular, man. I hate sparkling water. Unless there's flavor ad added to it. Because CO2 actually tastes nasty. Like, carbonation actually tastes disgusting. It's, it's bitter as hell and just, it's not good. I never understood how people can just drink regular sparkling water without anything else added to it. It's literally the most disgusting thing I think I've ever put in my mouth. And that's saying something. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate it, dude. It's so bad. All the gems functioning now. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we got crow bros. Hi, crow bros. You know, we could be friends if y'all didn't have to be dicks about it. Anything here? Nope. What about this? Can we, like, lock from the other side? So there's got to be, like, some way to get into it then, right? It's like, that's the only place we haven't been. You've never actually had sparkling water? I wouldn't suggest trying it, TVH, man. It's just, it's honestly not good. It's, uh, what do we get? Oh, hey, we got more ink ribbons. That's kind of dope. See, and that's why you just gotta fucking click on every random thing here, man, in Resident Evil. So you never know what the hell is gonna actually be something. But yeah, like, it, it, like I said, it's just not good. It's just water that tastes bitter. Like, sure, it's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of sparkle on the tongue, you know? It gives a little, a little, a little, uh, spiciness to it or whatever, but like, dude, it's, it's definitely not worth it. Is there a way for us to, like, maybe put out this water? Didn't we get, like, a fire hose at one point or something? Like, but I don't, I don't see a water source anywhere around here anywhere. Fuck, I don't know what to do. The one I got today was at Rite Aid. It comes in an aluminum bottle. It's called Proud Source. But honestly, like, if everybody wants to start doing that, I'm totally down. Like, wait. A narrow path can be seen from the window. Like, that feels like, that feels like a hint or something, you know? Like, we could open it and then go out there or do something. But best I can tell, there's no way for us to interact with it. Like every time we click on it, it just says a narrow path can be seen from the window. Well, no shit. How do I get to the narrow path? Like, yeah, I mean, aluminum just being so much more recyclable and better for the environment than plastics are, like, why wouldn't we use it, you know? And it's still lightweight. Uh, I'm sure it's not, like, as lightweight as, as plastic is. Which, of course, hauling around heavy stuff means more pollution because things are heavy blah, blah blah whatever but at the same time like all of the the plastic pollution that we would save and not to mention the fact that plastic is made from petroleum in and of itself like i don't know man i feel like it's probably worth it even if it is a little bit weird drinking something without flavor from a from a can <laughs> That's the sort of thing you'd get used to after a while, though, you know? And then, like, I've even seen uh, resealable aluminum bottles before. I think those are cool. Like, water bottles that are made of aluminum instead of, like, cans of water. And they come with, like, a twist cap on top. That way you can, you can reseal it. And then since it's aluminum, I mean, it's... Technically, I guess you can reuse plastic bottles, too. But, like, let's be honest. You're more likely to use an aluminum bottle, I feel like, than a plastic one at least i know i am all right so we might as well put the machine oil and the wrench back in the thing along with the the ink ribbon just to clear up inventory space because we don't need any of it right now 
And then we can uh we can look and see what other crap we got in here. Maybe there's just something else that we've already picked up that we forgot about. That can be like mixed with it or something. I mean we can mix some like gunpowder in with it. I don't <laughs> I don't know how that would help us at all, but we could do that. Alright, what do we got? We got the lock pick. Okay. Not helpful. Bullets, herbs, grenade launcher, magnum, wrench, ribbon, herbs, knife, reloading tool. Gunpowder, herbs, stars card, lighter, gunpowder, herbs, bronze book. Ah, uh, man. See, nothing. Nothing. Like, I'm going to keep the machine oil on me because, like, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure out something to do with it. If we don't figure it out shortly, we'll probably just do a Google search on it. You put a pick in Discord? Oh, of the water, I'm assuming. <laughs> just a pick of himself. Just like, I felt cute today. Thought I'd share this with y'all. Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay, yeah, that is like a wide mouth resealable one. That's kind of like what I was talking about then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much are those ones? Are they only like a, a couple bucks or whatever? So that's the one thing you do got to worry about with... Uh, like any sort of alternative water source, right? Is that it may not be as cheap as regular water. I personally don't think an extra, like, 50 cents or whatever is that big of a deal. Does he not see me? That was kind of creepy. If you have a wellness card, it's two for a dollar. What the hell's a wellness card? Is that, like, their thing or something? Like, uh, how Giant Eagle has... Has the cards? Do they have the, the wellness card? It's the right Aids Rewards card. Okay. Dope. Okay, Uptown. Uptown, fuck you up. Uptown, fuck you up. Nah, funk you up, whatever. I thought there was somewhere that we hadn't gone. That's what I was trying to look for. Because wasn't there an area... That, like, was on fire and we couldn't get into it. I mean, it's possible that we missed something in the restaurant, right? Because most of the time that we spent in the restaurant, we were running scared. Nothing special. Uh, you're nothing special, game. Way to be rude. A dollar twenty-nine without? That's not bad at all, man. That's about the same as a regular plastic bottle of water. A dollar twenty-nine. Let's check our files, too. Didn't we get something about the uh, the car at some point? Mechanics memo. Here we go. I know that you're intimidated by your new job. Blah, 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 blah. You can always depend on them. Take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. Uh, nasty shit. These old trains surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say pseudo, I mean if you can't find another original part, you'd better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Good quality oil. How the fuck? We have oil. How do we make it good quality oil? Like... <laughs> What am I missing here, man? Machine oil. Check. Oil for small machines. It can't be used for the large size machinery by itself. Okay. What can we put in it to make it suitable for large machinery? <laughs> like. Can't be used for large machinery by itself. There's nothing more. Just run around, click on everything. Is there like... Some vegetable oil? Do we need to... <laughs> Do we need to mix it with some, some fry grease here or something? Seems to be a switch for the drain. Yeah, that doesn't do shit for us. Hello? Game? What am I missing? Uh... Nothing suspicious, bruh. You got two small bottles, like the one in the pick, and two tall bottles? Hell yeah, dude. For eight bucks? Yeah, that doesn't seem bad. I'd totally try it out. 
I'm almost never at Rite Aid, but if I ever am again, then uh, <laughs> then I'll try it out. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis uh, Machine Oil. Yeah. What? Must be combined with oil additive. Uh-huh. Okay, where where do you get it? Like this wiki is trash. It doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> uh Inside the sales office. Okay, so it's found inside the sales office. After picking it up, uh, yeah. Well, that, that doesn't help me. Where the hell is the sales office? It's an area of uptown. Bruh, am I blind as shit? Or do we not have somewhere called sales office? Like, there's the train thing. Wait a second, was it like... No, that, that was the... Bro, I'm so fucking lost right now. Maybe it's like down in here? Or something? Because this is like that generator area. Why does the wiki not just have like a picture of the map showing me where the hell the sales office is? I've never seen this area before. Map, uptown. Map of the uptown. Oh wait, it's an uptown. We're in downtown, holy shit. Okay, so we must have uh, missed something on the other side of things, map. How do we switch maps? There it is, uptown. So apparently it's here somewhere. It'd be real nice if like there were labels on the map, you know? Okay, I do see one locked door that we never went through right there. Maybe it has something to do with that? Is there a way to like turn labels on? It doesn't look like it. Well, shit, bro. I guess we're we're going on an adventure, guys. <laughs> gonna gonna try to find the sales office in Uptown because that's apparently where the hell we need to go. I have no idea where it's at, and that's okay, I guess. <laughs> we'll figure it out one step at a time. Are those uh weird liquor dudes here? I don't think so. I hope not. Is this the right way? I feel like this is the wrong way. Uh, no, okay, yeah. Nope, that's the way we want to go. There's, like... I could have swore, too, like I said, that there was that area that was, like, on fire. And it seems like we should have been able to get through it. And I can also hear somebody with a machine gun, which I don't remember before. So maybe the area changed a little bit. Are you dead? Hopefully y'all are actually dead. Oh, I didn't even see that, bro. Hi! <laughs> Zombies fucking everywhere now, man. Uh, we don't need a save or anything right now. Do we have anything to get rid of, though? We do not. So we'll just keep going. Where are we right now? Does it tell us? No. There's no labels for the map anywhere. <laughs> It'd be real nice if you had labels, game. You know that? Uh. Ooh. Piece of candy. No, I wanted to pick the... Oh, wait. That's, that's the, like, the reusable herbs or whatever. The ones that we couldn't pick. But we're just there. There's no power for it. Okay, so we probably can't do anything with that. I don't know if we'll ever be able to do anything with that. I think this is where we stole, like, the powerful... The powerful with the power cable from. Look, it's been a while since we've been through this area, man. I can't remember too well, okay?
What do we got here? Map. Are we in Uptown? We're in Uptown now. And it appears we can only go one direction. So let's let's go that way. <laughs> oh, hi, birds. You know, I would like to be your friend, Mr. Crows. I don't have any, like, bread or anything to give you, but I can feed you some lovely zombie corpses, if you like. And then we can be friends and you can you can help me instead of trying to kill me. There's a fire hydrant. A fire hose is fixed with bolts. Bruh. We need the fucking wrench, don't we? Shit. Where's the where's the closest save area? I bet you we need that fucking wrench that I said, ah, sure, we won't need this. I knew we had seen a fire hose somewhere, though. I just couldn't remember where at. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. We're going back. We're going back to the save zone that we just went through a moment ago. We're saying hi to our crow friends again. Uh, we're getting stuck on weird geometry. It's all fine. <laughs> I want to be your friend, crow. I don't want to be enemies. I want you to eat the zombies, not me. I kill them, you eat them. We got a good system going on, man. Okay, where... That save zone was like right here, right? We'll grab the wrench. We can get the fire hose. And then with the fire hose, we can maybe put out the fire that we couldn't put out before. And that will hopefully lead us to the sales office or whatever. And that'll let us get the fuel additive thing, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is we gotta get to a, a sales office in Uptown. I didn't read any other spoilers. We gotta figure it out on our own. We adults here. We can do this. What's our health at? We're still fine, okay. The bird didn't do much damage, that's good. They can be scary, man. Especially whenever they start attacking in groups like that, you know? I mean, we only had the one trying to fuck us up, but still. Uh. Wait. Is this the... That was the right... That was the right door that I went through. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> oh, somebody told me there was a quick turnaround. There is a quick turnaround. I can't seem to... Oh, okay, you always press down. Down and square. Turns you around quickly. Okay. I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day. And I asked him, like, if he's ever played through the Resident Evil games or whatever. He's like, yeah, I've, I've played through the first few of them. And uh, I was asking him about Resident Evil 3 because, obviously, I'm playing it right now. He said, oh, yeah, that one's pretty good. He said there is only one character as far as he remembers. Um, and then he's like, oh, big tip for that game, by the way. I don't think it's documented anywhere in the game. But there's a quick turnaround. It can really help you out in some tough spots. And I was like, I don't know, man. I, I tried hitting, like, different buttons and stuff. I don't remember there being one. He said, well, I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure that there is one in there. Um, and I was like, all right, man, I'll check it out. And, yeah, apparently uh, you press down and square. If anybody else ever decides to play this game, that's how you do it. <laughs> press down and square together, and you turn around real quick. Will you take the fire hose? I mean, I just ran all the way fucking back to get it, so, yeah. No longer need this wrench where you discard it. Yes. That's something that I freaking love about the Resident Evil games. Like, once you don't need an item anymore. Not always, I don't think. But most of the time, it'll just straight up tell you. Like, hey, you don't need this anymore. So, if you want to just, like, toss this bitch, you can go ahead and do that. And, like, I, I really appreciate that, honestly. It makes it nice whenever, like... Because, like, then you're not wondering if you need something. And Oh, hi! Um, I feel like I should just go ahead and kill you guys. Oh, okay. Yep. You didn't die like I had hoped you would. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's stuck on the geometry. That's actually kind of bad for me. I want you... Ah! Dude! <laughs> I didn't expect you to get behind me so quickly. What the hell? Okay. It's alright. We're good. We're good. Everything's alright. Uh, just let's reload that shotgun before we forget. This Mexican restaurant is jank now. They put your refried beans on your enchilada. Little weird. Little weird. I need to get some taco sauce or salsa or something. I got burritos in the freezer. 
Not like anything fancy, just like beef and bean burritos. But like still, I love me some burritos. But like you gotta, you gotta have some sauce on them though, you know. Uh, okay, this is a lot more zombies than I thought. Oh, buddy, uh, turn around faster, Jill. What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus, Jill. Oh my lord. Okay. Yep, I know he's still alive. But I thought I thought I could get around him. Apparently, I can't. Are they all dead dead now? I think they are. I hope they are. Combine that with that. Okay, I think we're good. Where are we going? Where art thou fire at? Was it down here? I think it was over here somewhere, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think here by this save zone where the where the, the bad dogs were. Not the good dogs, the bad dogs. <laughs> Evil things. Yum. I love burritos, man. Like, I don't care if it's good burritos, bad burritos. I just love burritos. Okay. There's the fire hydrant thing. If I had a fire hose, I might be able to extinguish the fire over there. Uh, lucky for us, we have a fire hose, Jill. You would think you would know that since you're literally the one carrying it around, but I guess not. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Professional firefighters here. Do we still have the fire hose or did it just get rid of it? See, it's weird how sometimes it asks you if you want to get rid of things and then other times it just fucking does it for you. Like, it's kind of strange, but whatever. Hell yeah. This is what we call progress. Uh, where did that take us? <laughs> to an unknown area. Okay. Hopefully this area isn't too large because... Ooh, there's some some zombros right there that I can see. Uh, I mean, like, I guess I'll take the blue herbs, but I'm gonna be real mad whenever I ain't got no inventory space because I'm picking up these blue herbs and shit. Also, have we even come across anything that poisons yet? I don't know if we have. How the fuck does she handle that? Don't most firefighters have to work together to control the stream of water? I mean, I guess if you turned it on low or something, it might not be too bad, right? But generally speaking, like, yeah, I think <laughs> I think it does take more than, like, one uh, middle-aged woman to uh, to control a, uh, a fire hose. <laughs> generally speaking, I mean, hell, she might be, she might be, like, ripped, and we just can't tell because the PS2 or PS1 graphics are so, like, jank, you know? What do I know? Does that not look like something we should be able to interact with there? Oh, hi. Creepazoid. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got dodges? Bruh, I honestly didn't know we could dodge. Did I... How did I... How did I do that? We are badasses, man. We don't know how we're badasses, but like... <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is I was scared as shit. I was trying to aim... And shoot at the same time and like trying to trying to move and all and then fucking I don't know We just we stepped to the side like last fucking second. That was beautiful. That was great, man She benches 500 and squats a thousand she might dude. Oh, oh Somebody's getting shot Bruh killed one of your own you do? Hmm. What did you do? I had no choice he was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. I mean, like, he's right. But damn, dude, not wasn't not he a colleague of yours? How are you gonna just murder him and have no feels? Business facts, eh? The liquid medicine named VTJ98 is suitable to cultivate the NE-T type virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. UE 6th Laboratory. Taking the business facts. How fancy. Uh... <laughs> Reminds me of that scene in The Mummy 2 where the lead lady starts sword battling and her son asks how she knows what she's doing she responds i have no idea <laughs> uh, medical storage room current status lock please enter password and then press the return key uh star 
Z. I mean, obviously that's not gonna be it. <laughs> Enter password. I don't know the password, game. Shit, okay, so we're, we're probably gonna have to get that. I'm sure it'll be around here somewhere. Is that a clip for our handgun? Oh no, manager's report. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Advise? Uh, <laughs> typo? Anyways, some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool used by people. You must check all personal personnel coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked, but when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents, and above all else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. Uh, if you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal of the PC for administration. Don't forget that... W wait, no, wait. If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Huh. Everyone is familiar with? Friends? <laughs> uh, we? Us? Umbrella? If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that is a word that everyone's... Is it just password? Is the password just password? Like, are they that bad? Will you use the remote control? Sure. What's this gonna do? Safsprin? In store now. Hmm. I feel like that's a hint. Is it Safsprin? The common cure. Safsprin. In store now. Umbrella. Safsprin is the password? That's what I'm thinking too, man. Wow, an infomercial. <laughs> We're gonna try it. We'll try Safsprin. Did it have a capital S or can we even capitalize? I guess there is no like capitals or anything. Uh, I hate when they have keyboards like this laid out alphabetically instead of like QWERTY or whatever. Safs P R I N Safsprin. Hey, password confirmed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Room access confirmed. Deactivating lock, please wait. That's one hell of a security system they got there, man. Because they said they change it for when new products release. True, true, true. I'm sure there won't be any zombies or anything in that room that we have to worry about, right? All right, now we go around clicking on absolutely everything to see if there's any other junk that we can pick up. Because that's good game design. It's <laughs> just random ass things littered about that you can't see. Uh, product catalog and company brochures. Uh, why can't I see those, man? You let me see the infomercial, but you don't let me see the, the catalogs. Guns are ready. I'm holding, I'm holding it up. I'm aiming. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, that's, that's lame. Thought something was gonna happen. High temperature steam pipes. I'm sure nothing will go wrong with that. Uh, liquid nitrogen pipes. Again, I'm sure absolutely nothing will <laughs> go wrong with that. Gunpowder B? Hell yeah, we'll take Gunpowder B. Gunpowder B? Yes, please. Uh, oh shit. Can't carry any new items. Bro. <laughs> shit, I didn't mean to combine them. <laughs> I forgot that that actually works. Uh, what happens if we combine three Bs? <laughs> oh man gunpowder bbb <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen with it uh but oh well hey oil additive we found it okay let's mix that combine that with that there we go now we got mixed oil hopefully that's all we need for the for the stupid machine and what's the what's the red stuff gunpowder a Oh uh, shit, there's like three of those too. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to come back here, man. Oh. 
Uh, this looks good. Yep. Oh, we're it's fine. Everything's fine. No worries, guys. It's just a fucking horde. Uh, I I think dude bro might be dead. Can I like burn them out or something? With that, with that. There we go. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. All of you. Wait, why are you running away? No, you're supposed to be... You're supposed to be coming this way. Hold on, we got this. Come on. Yup, yup, yup. Ha! Now you can freeze to death, bitches. Look, no, you're not even running into it. You're running the wrong way. God, y'all are useless. <laughs> Freaking zombies, man. Don't they know that they're supposed to run into shit and die? Oh shit, we're out of ammo! <laughs> uh, reload. Reload quickly. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, everything's fine. Let's go to the file real quick. What did we... How bad are we fucked since we mixed all of our ammo together? <laughs> all of our B ammo together. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't say anything. So, like, we might be okay. Maybe it's just, like, uh, we'll make more rounds whenever we, we load it or something. Maybe it's, like, super shotgun rounds. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll find out. Oh, hi, guys. Uh... Uh, hi, zombie lady. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> Are you dead, dude on the ground? You seem to be twitching a bit. Oh, good, there's another one. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here because I want that ammo. So, like, if you want to die, that's actually okay. Thank you. Uh, and we're, like, out of ammo, too. Oh, buddy. Well, you know what? Now that we have another empty space... We could just grab that A ammo now. And then just mix all the A ammo together too. And <laughs> like, screw it. Why not, you know? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, hopefully leaving that room and coming back will reset all of their positions so that we can run past them a little bit better. As well as uh, clearing up the ones that are actually dead that we don't need to worry about. Um, it'd probably also be helpful if I... Okay, nope. Can we go this way? Around them, maybe? Yeah, look at that. Okay, well. Shit. I don't... I don't like you. <laughs> Just want you to know that, Zombro. I don't like you. Wasted all that ammo. Just so we could come back and get ammo. It's fine. It's fine. Ammo that we might be ruining anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Will you take the gunpowder, A? Eh? Hell yeah. Let's mix it. I also, I just realized we got another crank, too. I wonder what this other crank's gonna be used for. Because we had, like, that rusty crank. I wonder if we could have just used this one instead of the rusty one. And, like, then we wouldn't have had to have gotten the wrench to use it or something. You know what? I bet you that's it, because, uh... It asked us if we wanted to throw away the wrench after we used it on the fire hose thing. So I bet you like that it always asks you right there if you want to use it or not. And if you use it there, then like you're going to be screwed at the gas station, right? So then maybe they put the extra crank there just for the gas station section. I don't know. That's my that's my guess though. Also, do we have ammo or are we out? We have one shot left. Okay. There's still this. This looks like it should do something. Like this is definitely a thing. It's hanging off the wall. What happens if I shoot it? <laughs> Does it do anything? Or maybe we can, like, use the crank on it? Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay. What happens if I shoot it? Let's uh, back up a little bit. Take aim. Okay. Well, apparently that was explosive. 
Uh, so... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now, dude. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. Well, okay. It's fine, though. We know what we're doing now. And we know what we're getting into. So, like, it'll be fine. We can catch back up to where we were super quick. Uh, okay, yeah, this one, the ninth save. Oh, man, I'm so mad about that. I'm salty as fuck. Who the hell puts an explosive right there like that? Like... <laughs> Sorry, all we actually did was pick up... We went to the new area, right? We did that, obviously. And then we picked up the, uh... I mean, we might as well take that. We picked up the other ink ribbons from that one area, and that's all we actually did, so. So we might as well take this, because we can just mix it. I'm going to leave the mixed herbs so that we just have more inventory room for crap. We need that. We need the machine. Well, we don't need the machine oil, but we're picking up something that can be mixed with it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we could take the reloading tool. Right, because if we take the reloading tool, then we can just start turning the ammo that we get into ammo instead of mixing it all together. So hold on, if we take that, take the uh, reloading tool, wherever the fuck it is. God, am I blind? Uh, reloading tool. Then we have enough room for A, B. We'll get rid of the wrench at one point, but then we'll pick up the crank. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think I think this is a decent idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. We know where we're going, we know what we're doing, so we should be okay. Maybe I should have made more ammo, but like we shouldn't actually end up needing it really. No. Oh, you're a bastard. Okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and throw the heel down right now. <laughs> Oh, shit, but there's the two blue herbs, too, that we're going to pick up, huh? Well, no, that, that should still be okay. Two blue herbs. And then... The crank. Two blue herbs. Crank. The ammo will be replacing and mixing with, with the stuff that we're already carrying. And then the, the wrench we'll be getting rid of. So I think, I think we're good. I think we're good inventory-wise. We just can't take any unnecessary damage, because otherwise we're screwed. And also, we gotta remember, don't shoot the freaking thing that it looks like you should be able to just interact with, because you can't interact with it. It's actually a fucking death box. Because <laughs> that's what's in the game, apparently. Like, my lord, bro. Who just puts a random death box around like that, man? Like, no warning label or anything. Just, hey, here's a box. It looks neat. Wonder what it does. Oh, it murders you. That's what it does. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't mean to have the handgun out either, TBH. Uh, I wanted to have that out. How did we hit that dude all the way down there with our shotgun? Oh, he's dead now, too. Okay, that works. <laughs> Hi, bros. Just ignore me. Pretend I don't exist. Alright, uh, we don't need anything from here. We already grabbed everything we need, so we can keep going. <sighs> knowledge. At least we have knowledge now. That's, that's what's important, man. We know what to do. We know where to go. We're freaking experts at this point. I'm just mad because there was, like, no warning about it, you know? Like, if I had known that that was an explosive, I could have just not fucking did it. Or if there was a big, like, warning sign above it or something. Unless, like, is are there explosives commonly in cities that look like that? Just chilling on the side of buildings or something? Like, <laughs> I admit, I haven't spent that much time in big cities. I could be wrong on this one. Like, that could be commonplace shit, but <laughs> the couple times I've been in the city... I've never seen explosives on the side of a wall like that. 
just ready to murder you if you hit them too hard. Just just throwing that out there, game. <laughs> yes, we'll take the fire hose. Yes, we're done with the wrench. Yeah, get rid of it. Thanks for nothing, game. Ugh. We already know the password, so we don't have to worry about looking that up anymore. Or, like, figuring that out, I guess. We didn't really have to look it up. Uh, good miss, Jill. Yup. Okay, that was a lot more shots than it took last time. Um, so that's actually kind of bad. Because now we're a bit low on ammo. But it'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Who needs ammo anyways? Zombies are friends. Actually, you know what? A lot of our ammo we used, was used for that one section. Oh, why is there dogs here now? Weren't we free of dogs last time? I'm pretty sure there were no dogs here. <laughs> the last time we came through, like 10 minutes ago. I was expecting there to be dogs, like, right here, too. I was going to be pissed. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, fire hose, use. Good job, Jill. You put out the fire. We're proud of you. You're wonderful. 10 out of 10. Best fucking uh, firefighter I've ever seen. Uh, we're going to be coming back, so we can pick those up on our way back, just in case we don't end up having the inventory space for it. Plus, like, so far at least, we haven't needed any blue herbs, so it's not at the top of my list of shit that we should probably pick up. Same with that crank, right? Like, we don't actually need it right now. Hey, we did the sidestep thing again, though. That's pretty dope. I still have no idea, like, literally zero idea how we're doing it. But, like, we did it. So, that's cool, I guess. Hey, there's that explosive. Ah! Dude! Creepazoid! Is he dead? What's our health like? We're still considered fine. Okay. He's dead. Thank goodness. Alright, in we go. Can we skip the cutscene? Doesn't seem like it, sadly. No cutscene skips. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Dope. Okay, never mind. I lied. There are cutscene skips, and we just did it. I don't think we picked up anything in here, right? Just the uh, just the file, which we'll, we'll pick it up again, even though we don't technically need it. We'll pick it up just because, you know, it adds it to our inventory. And then... Put in the password. I wonder if the password changes. I mean, I imagine it wouldn't from, like, the same save, but... Uh, saps, print, P-R-I-N. Oh, nope, not pause. Enter. What? That's not it? Maybe it does change. Okay. Uh, go back. Hello? Infomercial? I need your help. Did I misspell it? Maybe I misspelled it. No, it is. It is different. A Dravel. Quick and fast release. A-D-R-A-V-I-L. A Dravel. That's cool. Like I said before, like the other, uh, I said it at the last stream, the other Resident Evil games had two different characters to play to give it some replay value. So I think that's how they tried to give this game more replay value was by making the one run be or like the one playthrough, the one person be different in between playthroughs by uh, adding little things like that, like passwords changing, uh, different story elements changing depending on the choices you make, etc. I don't know what determines the password there. Uh, it could be like a timer of some sort. Maybe I don't. I have no clue. Literally just guessing. Alright, we'll pick up all the shiz. Yes. Take it all. 
I am going to look up real quick, though, just because I'm curious. What is... Resident Evil 3 Nemesis BBB uh, Gunpowder. Powder. What happens if we mix? Gunpowder, BBB. Combine these with the reloading tool to create an even greater number of shotgun shells. Uh, oh, okay, so it just... So it does do what I thought. It just gives you a, a more shells. Okay. Well, I guess we didn't really need to bring the reloading tool then in that case, because, like, if that's all it does is give you more, then I guess it's probably better if we do that with our ammo, right? Like, combine them first and then use the reloading tool on it. I wonder if there's BB, 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 no, BB, BB. I wonder if there's that. <laughs> I wonder if you can mix four B's together or four A's together or whatever. To make, like, super ammo. Alright. Uh, I like the shotgun more than the handgun, so let's try it with the A. 55. Okay. Okay. That seems like a respectable amount. Let's take this now, and that should leave us just enough room... So we'll uh, combine that with that. We got crank, two herbs. So we have just enough for everything. We should be good to go. Let's equip the handgun for this little zombie section here. If we need to switch back to the shotgun, we will. But we have the, uh, the pipes. We can try to use the pipes to our advantage though. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do that. Hopefully it'll work out. We got this. I believe in us. If we die again, I'm going to flip the freaking, the, the, the game. The whole game. Yes, run into it. All of you run into it this time. Just don't run away from it. Run into it. Let's reload. Combine with that. Okay. Come on. Follow me. Yes. Follow me, my pretties. <laughs> Come on. Come, a, a little bit farther. No, don't walk into the pole. There you go. Yes. Freeze yourself to death. Oh, shit. He's still alive. Why is he still alive? <laughs> All right. I guess the uh, I guess the nitrogen isn't as deadly as the uh, the hot steam pipe is. All right, there we go. And we didn't even waste no shotgun ammo that time. Uh, I am going to switch back to the shotgun, though, for the upcoming section. Because I would like to be able to kill things quickly if things go south. And I feel like there's a decent chance things are going to go south. Uh, okay, well, we're not coming back here this time. So we don't need to try to kill any more of you than is necessary. Actually, you know what? Okay, I was going to say, even if they're not dead, I might be able to just get around them. Go through the door, Jill. Whoa, buddy. You had some technical difficulties? What kind of technical difficulties did you have there, man? I had some technical difficulties. It's called, that is explosive. Don't fucking shoot it. It murders you. <laughs> so actually, you didn't miss anything because we just caught back up to where we were. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, pick the crank back up. We'll get the two herbs. We'll save at the closest save point, just because I don't want to have to redo any more progress than is absolutely necessary. Then the only other thing we still need to do is get the, uh, the whatchamacallit. The, uh, fuck, fuck if I remember. The ink ribbons. It's weird that it shows us those zombies through that window there. And, like, as far as I know, there's no way we can even interact with them in any way. Or, like, get over there. Unless we come back. Maybe we come back here at some point. That's a possibility, I suppose. Backtracking is a feature in most Resident Evil games. Like... Oh, and perfect timing, actually, for the save. Because it has been an hour... So we need to take a break, and I kind of need to take a pee anyway. So we're going to store all our shit and save, and then we're going to take a quick break. Put that crank in there. Uh, you know what? 
I'll put the handgun bullets in here. That's fine. Keep the shotgun shells. I'm going to pull out... Do we have any more B-type ammo? Uh, gunpowder A, 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 A. Lots of A's. A's everywhere. Okay, no B's. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted to try to mix up the, the extra B to see if there's BB, BB. Uh, we can look that up real quick, though. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Gun Powder God. How many different kinds of gunpowder are there? Uh, so A, B, BB, second combo, uh, shotgun shells. To, oh, really? Two A's and a B make shotgun sh shells times 20. That's more than two B's on their own. So we can actually use the A's to make B's. That's actually really good to know. There is no B, 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 B. So. <laughs> okay, so really what we want to be doing is using two A's and a B as much as possible for our shotgun. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's good to know. We'll keep that in mind. It's kind of already fucked with this one, so we might as well use the reloading tool. Because um, it seems like there is no four mix options from what I saw. Um, crafted ammo, wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like you can mix any four times, so. I didn't mean to bring up that. Chat disconnected, you went to close and rejoin, but it had said the stream ended, what? <laughs> That's odd. Yeah, the stream uh, definitely hasn't ended. I don't know why I came up and told you that, but. I'm glad you're able to make it back, man. Okay, combine those together. We can put the reloading tool thing in here. And then we gotta remember the next time we get B, we wanna mix AAB. We want AB. <laughs> All right, might as well get the other shit that we need out of here too. Let's get, uh, as far as we know, we don't need the crank. Should we just take it with us just because? Maybe we should. Um. We'll take it with us just in case we end up needing it, you know, for shits and gigs, I guess. Uh, we need the fuse. We need that. We're going to need this to do a save. And then we need some sort of heal. And I think, right, we got the oil proper this time. We got the fuse proper. We got the, the power cable proper. That should be everything. Big should, hopefully. Like, <laughs> I'm guessing it was like a cookie thing there, Nate. Save your progress. We use the ink ribbon. Yes. Let's use the ink ribbon. For fuck's sakes, please let me save. <laughs> I do not want to do all that again. I mean, it didn't take super long to do it, but still, like, I don't want to do it again. But yeah, I I've had issues like that on some websites before where, like, uh, like the, the cookie or the cache of the page will, will tell the website one thing um, or the web browser one thing. But in reality, it's something different. Probably a cache more than a cookie type thing. But I don't know. What do I know? Regardless, though, we do need to take a really close break because it has been close to an hour, so I'm going to have to run an ad either way, and I kind of got to pee, so <laughs> we're going to take a break. I'll be back in just like three minutes, guys. But I don't actually remember for sure. It's hot over here. You just finished a water change for your sister's fish, so you're hecking tired. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine how that would drain you. Never had to go through the process myself, but yeah, I can't imagine it's, uh, it's an easy task. I'm kind of surprised to hear that you guys got a hot flash over there, man. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, today's warm compared to the last couple of days, but we were getting another, another winter storm. Not nearly as bad as last week, but another winter storm nonetheless. Just enough to, you know, cover all of the roads and everything that they spent absolutely forever clearing. Alright, so melee attack that delays an enemy's next attack. It cannot be countered. I mean, that's kind of nice. But... I think I'd rather take the counter attack and then just smack him three times or just completely miss. That works too. I freaking hate this game. <laughs> God. God makes me angry, man. Okay. Well, let's check her. She's the one that would probably have stuff. Removes enemy enhancement on a single target, prevents spirit attacks. 
slows the t attack rate, but I mean, we can use a attack with Hat Hood or someone to cripple, so we won't worry about that. Heal, Water Spirit, Action Point, Increase, that's Haste, Health, Negative Effects, Automatic Revives, nice, Full Immunity, Next Action, Heal, Remove of Negative Effects, maybe it was an item. Didn't we have something? I could have swore we had something that stopped the enemy from being able to counterattack. But maybe we didn't. I might be mixing this up with some other RPG, though. That's completely possible. I, mean, I play so many of them at a time that, yeah. <laughs> you are dashing, Nate? Well, I hope you're being safe out there, man. I mean, from what I can see, the roads don't look terrible, terrible, but they don't look amazing either. At least not up uh, around where I live. Especially hard when your sister doesn't do as much as she should. Now you're just hoping you didn't put too much dechlorinator and accidentally killed it. Your sister will kill you. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, both for your sake and the fish's sake. <laughs> See, that's the sort of thing I would have no idea what I was doing in that case, you know? I just, I know so little about fish. I know they need water. I know they need oxygen in the water. And that you have to feed them every once in a while. And that's about all I know about fish. <laughs> that's that's the extent of my knowledge there. Range, spirits attack, sleeping characters, armor value. There's gotta be... Man, did we not have one? Maybe we didn't actually have one. I, I am really starting to think I'm thinking of something else. I must have been thinking of something else, but that's fine. We'll just, uh, whenever it's Idriel's turn, we'll use haste on her this round. And then after this round, we'll just have her do heals constantly, I guess. Don't trust what you see. I mm, I mean, <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of the best thing to trust, man. <laughs> <I don't laughs> uh, how can the snowy roads be real if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> no, I mean, like... It looks like it's mostly snow on the road, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's terrible. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. Ugh. Try not to be too long. Had to use the bathroom, though, as I mentioned. All right, so we saved the game. Uh, we could leave the ink ribbon, but we're going to go pick some more up anyway. So either way, it's going to be taking up room in our inventory. So we might as well just leave it there. I have a goofy question for anybody who uh who may still be watching. Say you did anything, you know, on the internet or you were just any sort of personality entertainer type person, right? And you had the opportunity to be sponsored by any company. This is this isn't something that I obviously have the opportunity for. Don't get me wrong. But like, what would that one company be? If you if you could only pick one company, but any company to be to be uh sponsored by who would it be? I'm curious, because I was thinking, and like right now I'm drinking a diet caffeine free Coke. And I was thinking like, oh, you know, Coke would be a pretty cool sponsor. I bet one, I bet they pay pretty decent too. They make some decent drinks. I don't really drink much pop anymore. And when I do, it's just diet caffeine free stuff. So like it's pretty, pretty really whittles down the product stack there, boys. But I mean, they also have like waters and stuff they do like that, you know? So I was like, Coke would probably be pretty cool. And I was like, you know what would actually be really cool if I could just have, like, any company in the world? Fucking Tesla or some other, uh, like, electric car maker, honestly, is probably what I'd pick. Because, man, I want an electric car so bad. Like, where I live, there's hardly any infrastructure for it. There is some infrastructure for it, but there's hardly any as far as, like, charging and whatnot goes. But, like, I don't do huge road trips, so I could totally do charging at home and be just fine. And holy shit, what's happening in the game? Why is there an earthquake? Oh! Oh, good! We're falling to our death. Oh! And now we gotta get the elevator working so we can get back up? Question mark? Uh, fucking dodge that shit, bro. Climb up or jump off? Cl climb up. I'm guessing if we had chose jump off, we would have had to figure out a way back up. But like, 
and that's probably where the whole elevator thing comes into play and like maybe we could have found some other stuff down there for it like for our inventory but like fuck it it's fine whatever Ooh, is that a that's not a green plant up there that's that's yeah nope I saw, like, the plant in the window. I thought maybe that'd be... But anyways, as I was saying, though, but, like, I really want an electric car. An all-electric car. Not like a... Not like a, uh... Whatchamacallit? A hybrid or anything like that. Like, don't get me wrong. I'd be totally fine with a hybrid, too. But I, I, I really do want an electric car. I think that'd be dope. They're, they're so much cheaper to run. Um, obviously, they cost more up front, for the most part. But, like, electricity is so much cheaper than gas for, for electric vehicles that you would save so much money in the long run like wizards of the coast are like a combined sponsorship of your favorite local shops yeah 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 wizards of the coast would be cool or the the any sort of trading card company would be pretty cool um assuming that they provided like free packs of cards or whatever that'd be dope but like bruh i would <laughs> i would take a lifetime sponsorship for a single electric vehicle like <laughs> that's probably really dumb because like could you imagine if like you took that as a as a small uh content creator of any kind and then suddenly like for some reason you blew up and became one of the largest then that sponsorship deal that you took just looks fucking stupid now like yeah sure you got one car but you could have got you know much more money off of us if you hadn't taken that stupid deal <laughs> but like bruh that would just be dope as hell it doesn't even have to be a Tesla. There's another uh, electric car manufacturer that I was looking at. I forget the name of it exactly. It's like Polearm or something like that. Um, and their cars looked really cool. Uh, not too badly priced either. Oh, hi. Um, you're not nice. It's okay. Thankfully, you're kind of easy to dodge around for the most part. <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. Mr. Nemesis, sir. Okay. Zombro, really? Do you have to eat me every time I come through here? You know, sometimes a lady just doesn't want that, you know? Sometimes I just want to make my way through this dark, dank alley without being eaten. Uh, Nemesis? Hmm. Or not? Okay. Oh, shit. We were supposed to go to the... Ah, fuck. Messed it up. We were supposed to go to the whatchamacallit place. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. We were supposed to go to the newspaper place to pick up the extra ink ribbons that we probably won't end up needing, but I want them just in case we do. So we got to go back. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, as long as you do the contract right, you could have other sponsors. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I, I didn't mean like that's the only sponsor you would ever get. But like if you had a good working relationship with a large company like that, um... But the deal said that, like, that was a one-time thing for a lifetime sponsorship. That would suck, you know? Because that one company would probably be willing to pay so much more in the long run. But if you already agreed to be paid that one-time fee... Uh... Ow! Mr. Nemesis, sir! Sir, I don't want to play right now! Which way are we going? I forget the way to the newspaper, please. <laughs> Alright, we're going this way. <laughs> Uh, why are you so fast all of a sudden? Stop it. Bad nemesis. Bad. <laughs> Be nice to Jill. Where's the whole meme with the Jill sandwich coming to play? Was that this game or was that a different one? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I just remember Jill sandwich being a thing for some reason. But yeah, like, I, I don't know exactly how much people get paid for their sponsorships but i bet you over the course of a lifetime with one company it would be worth more than one one tesla would be or like one pole arm or whatever the name of that other company i was looking at is or whatever like you know what i mean so that's what i'm just saying like taking a, a lifetime sponsorship deal for one single car i don't know man unless it's like a bugatti or something you know like a million dollar car maybe it'd be worth it then Again, I don't know how much people get paid for commonly for sponsorships, though. Maybe that's really fucking stupid. Um, get up, Jill! God, we're fucked. <laughs> we're so fucked. Uh, 
Nemesis, sir, we talked about this. You have to ask permission before you choke me. <laughs> uh, so I just, uh, did I tell you what kind of chicken your mom gave you for lunch today? No, what kind of chicken? Is it uh, old chicken? Roast chicken? Like, <laughs> pineapple chicken? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of what kind of chicken, love? What is this like? Is something exploding in the distance? Is it them, them gas stations, the gas pumps? Like, is there about to be another freaking? Did we just pass out? What the hell just happened? Oh. Damn it! Why are we in the underground? Not cool game. All I'm trying to do is get on this stupid railway car thing. A Tesla, though, with free repairs and upgrades every X amount of years? What the fuck are you? Sandworm, bro. Uh, It's a switch for the elevator of the ladder. It seems that it's not functioning due to lack of power. Good. Good, good, good. Yep. That's what we like to see. Ah! Oh, we're dead. We're fucking dead. Oh my god. Bro. Bro. I'm so glad that we saved after finishing up that other section. Because otherwise, I'd be so mad right now. I'd be fucking pissed. Like, ugh. Okay. That's alright, though. We can we can see what that other option is. Like, if we jump instead of, uh, instead of going in there. Oh, we gotta, we just, we gotta remember to go to the fucking newspaper place this time instead of going straight for the car. And who knows, maybe if we do the underground section early, we won't have to do it later. Like, uh. But yeah, if it was uh free repairs and upgrades every X amount of years, like yeah, that would be pretty dope deal. Like I don't I don't think there's any problem with that, you know. Last night she messaged me telling me she was giving you mac and cheese and torso chicken. What the hell is torso chicken? Breasts? Like chicken breasts? Is that does she just was she too embarrassed to say breasts? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> um Bro, like I'm worried about carrying all this shit around now. Because like I don't know what all we're gonna have to do in this underground section that we're getting kinda suddenly hit with. Uh I guess we'll carry the stuff that we think is necessary and leave everything else. Yeah. I guess we'll just do that for now. Had to fig call and figure out what torso chicken was. It was General Sos. <laughs> Why did she call it torso? Does she did she not know the name of it, or could she just not spell General Sos? I don't. Where the fuck torso come from? I mean, TSO kind of looks like torso. Like if you mix the letters around a little bit, kind of. But she didn't know what it was called. Mm. Is it too is it too spicy for you? Like, do you not like it? Because I know you're a little iffy on general so sometimes because of uh, the spice level that it can have. She didn't know what it was called. How did she buy it if she didn't know what it was called? She bought it for lazy. <laughs> you're so nice. <laughs> I just figured that was your new name for your sister. Just lazy. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm going to start calling your sister. No. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, why is the geometry so weird here, man? That scene does not look like it should just randomly end there. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I don't know. All right, guys. We're going to jump. Let's see what happens. Yep, yep. Big earthquake. Everything be falling. She used to call herself lazy. That's like perfect for alliteration if she ever did anything online. Like ever started a, a social media presence of some kind, you know? Just have it be lazy Layton. Like... That'd be pretty... That's pretty dope. I don't know. I'd go for it. Alright, we're in the sewers this time. We switched it up a little bit. I'm glad she took a couple steps back. Otherwise, we'd be kind of screwed right now. 
Uh. Okay, we can't seem to shoot you. Leeches! Why the fuck are there leeches? I didn't agree to leeches. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that's kind of lame. I was hoping, like, we could take care of that issue so that we wouldn't have to deal with the big monster later. I mean, maybe that'll still happen, but, like, yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it, though. Seems like coming down here was actually kind of pointless. I mean, saying that, though, who knows? Where's this ladder going to take us? And what's this hole in the wall? Can we do anything with the hole in the wall? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, sure. Let's go up the ladder. Where does the ladder go? Oh. Okay, yeah, it just takes us back a little bit. That's ah, lame. Guess we didn't really need to check that out, but we did. All right. Who wants to make a prediction? Anybody still here? Who wants to predict whether or not we'll actually make it to the freaking cable car this time? We've only been trying to get to the cable car since we started playing today. An hour and a fucking half ago. <laughs> You're here? <laughs> Let's uh, start a prediction. Start. Will we get the... Cable car moving, comma, before dying. Uh, it's too long. I can't type all that. Cable car moving before death, question mark. Yes. No. <laughs> He wants to make a bet. I don't know, man. There can't be that many more surprises for us, right? Like, we gotta we gotta get it going this time. There's no way we fuck it up again. Like, I mean, there is definitely a way we fuck it up again, but hopefully not. <laughs> I'm, my fingers are crossed, man. I'm really hoping that we don't. Let's, uh, let's reload our gun. Get that going. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Okay. Uh, which way are we going? This way. This is the right way. Right? Right, right? Yeah, okay. We got believers in chat. 669. Everybody believes. I really hope I don't die. Y'all are gonna lose your points. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Zombro, get off me. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to die. I promise. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. We got a full heal on us. We're fine. We have extra full heals in the chest, too, if we end up actually needing it. I feel like we probably should take one extra full heal with us whenever we go towards the cable car section, though. Because of the whole uh, falling into the ground thing right after Nemesis. And, like, I, I don't know. I just don't know what we have to do down there. I have no idea. Like, there was that button it looked like we could have pressed. But is that thing, like, an instant death every time we come across him? Or, like... Or, uh... Did we just get unlucky and die whenever he hit us? Like, maybe we were already too close to death or something? I honestly don't know. But, yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna... We're gonna take one more extra heal with us. Because, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, you figured out it was General Sose because she told you it was what your sister had you pick up from the deli one day? Hopefully, it wasn't the same one that you picked up for your sister like a week ago or whenever that was, because we know your mother likes to do that sort of thing. <laughs> Give you old-ass expired food. <laughs> like, <laughs> yum. All right, so we don't have another pre mixed full heal, but we have the stuff, so let's go ahead and mix that up. Combine with that. Do we just go ahead and save here, too? Like... So we don't have to do that whole section again. We know we're about to get more ink ribbons anyway, so fuck it, dude. I'm just gonna do it. Like, I hate I hate wasting the ink ribbons because we have no idea how many there's gonna be later in the game. But I don't want to have to do that whole section that we did again. I'm just gonna save over the alley. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. 
It was the Walmart Frozen kit she made last night. Leighton said she didn't want it. Okay. That's not that bad then. Oh, wait. Is that the one that, that we have in the freezer? That, like, I'm iffy about making because there's fucking shellfish in one of their foods that there really shouldn't be? I don't remember if that was the General Sows or if that was a different one, though. I just remember they had, like, a, a General Sows flavor, but... You barely survived the nail clipping of 22? I mean, you're gonna have to explain more than that, Rue. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what happened in the nail clipping of 22? Was it... Were they your nails being clipped, or were you clipping someone else's? That's a that's another important question. Cause I know there's been times like my grandpa, he uh, was partially disabled, and so like I would help him clip his nails before, and there's been a couple times where I've almost gotten like kicked in the face because uh, <laughs> I had accidentally go a little bit too low, <laughs> and uh, man was not happy about that. I mean, fair, though, you know, I can't blame him. <laughs> stars. No stars here, Mr. Nemesis, sir. Aha! Fucking, fucking, fucking juked him. Stream has to hold the cat so you can clip them? Yeah, 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 I do. I do. Pet nails, two dogs, two cats, all hate the clippers. I mean, fair, like, you know. Cats, cats and dogs, like, it's weird how their, their nails kind of connect to their actual body. Also, we are out of ammo for that. Um, kind of feel dumb using it all now, because we didn't bring any extra. Oh, well. Uh, caution, go ahead and use that one full heal now. Anyone? Da, da, da. Did anyone see about the glazed birthday cake donuts? You know what? I actually did see the message that you brought up, and I just completely fucking, like, forgot to say anything about it that's like, like is it a one day thing or is it a is it like a week long thing or something or like how's that work it's like that actually sounds pretty good like honestly i'm here for it man let's get some glazed birthday cake donuts all right yep fell into the ground uh how do we get out of here now <laughs> Oh, it was good. I'd love to try it. I like donuts. That's like one of my weaknesses as far as sugary foods go are donuts. As far as the nail clipping thing goes, though, like I refuse to, to clip pet nails, man. I just won't do it. Like, okay, so we know that one has no power. Like, we knew there was nothing we could do with that one, right? But if we go, like, over here, there's... Ah! Okay. Ah! Ah, it's still coming for us! Is it done? Uh, will you turn it on? Yes. Ah! Fucking go away, you bastard! <laughs> oh god, it's gonna come out here now, isn't it? Uh, switch for the elevator of the ladder. It seems that it's not functioning due to lack of power. I thought we turned on the emergency power. Now what? Jesus, fuck. Uh, uh, game? <laughs> game, help? Jesus, fuck. Ah, hit the button, Jill, you fucking... We're dead. We're so fucked, dude. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do this. I have no idea how to do this. We're in caution. We're so dead. I'm sorry, believers. Emergency power. Will you push the switch? Yes. Fucking run, Jill. Run! No! <laughs> how do we... T how? How do I do this? <laughs> like, shooting it didn't seem to do anything. Uh... Yeah, we're dead. That's it. Fuck! <laughs> I don't... I don't know. 
I don't know what to do there, man. I mean, like, we did the right thing, hitting the buttons. But there's got to be some way to get through that without getting murdered 20 times, right? Like, I'm glad we made that extra save now, though. So that we don't have to redo that one short little section. Ah, that's annoying. Sorry, believers. Choose outcome. That's a solid no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I'm so pissed. Oh, wait, no, I don't... I didn't want to load that one. Uh... Excuse me. Game? Hello? It's not what I wanted to do. Is there a, like, a restart or something? Uh... File. No. Exit. No. How do we how do we restart the game? I mean I guess we could just kill ourselves, right? Not like literally, but you know. Reset, there we go. Reset the game, yeah. There we go. Found it. <sighs> Complains about being stabbed and then tells me I need to clip their nails. I help at least though. Like I just don't want to be the one to fuck up and, like, clip too low and, and hurt the animals. That's why I don't clip their nails. You didn't escape unscathed through? Oof. Resident Oof. Evil. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you, Noodle. I appreciate that. If you don't have massive dogs, hang them up in a bag with holes cut out for their little legs and trim them that way. <laughs> Is that the way they do it at, like, grooming places or something like that? You'd have to, it would, I feel like it would need to be like a cloth bag or something like that, though. You don't want to hang them from like a plastic bag, right? That just sounds like something is going to go wrong. Like, I guess, I guess we're taking one extra full heal with us. Like, that it feels, feels bad doing that, but. All right, grab that. And then did we have another red herb or was that it? Are we red herbed out? We have another one. Man, I really. Really am not happy about the idea of using this many <laughs> full heals here. Uh, we should also refill our handgun ammo before we go. Actually, you know what? The handgun's, like, useless at this point. And we've already found out that it's possible to use uh, handgun ammo to make shotgun ammo. So, fuck it. We're just, we're just not. Or handgun powder, I guess, is the better way of putting it. Like a reusable shopping bag or an old purse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that doesn't sound too bad. Like a nice cloth shopping bag. But I could see somebody seeing that message and just not realizing, like, why it'd be a bad idea to put them in plastic or something. Or just misunderstanding and then just, like, yeah. So, just to be clear here, guys. <laughs> Definitely needs to be some sort of cloth or something. Something that they can safely breathe through or in or, or whatever. Like. Oh, maybe like, uh, don't they make like little pet carriers? Like cloth pet carriers? Isn't that a thing? Also, we should probably actually equip our shotgun too, huh? That would, that would come in handy if we end up needing to, I don't know, shoot anything. Oh, their heads still poke out? Well, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Jesus, birds. Uh fuck. That's what I get for looking away for a moment. Yeah, well, I mean, I figured you meant, like, cut it low so that their heads could poke out or whatever. Um, but I still think it'd be a good idea to have it be, like, a material that wouldn't get stuck in or around their mouth, right? Like, cloth. Because even if their heads poke out, there's, there's, like, the possibility that they would wiggle themselves in some sort of way where their, their head goes below the the cutout or the uh the cutout or the uh the 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 top of the bag or whatever all right try this one more freaking time man if i die again i'm going to riot <laughs> <laughs> To be clear, I am positive I'm doing something wrong here. Like, there's... There, 100%, has to be a better way to deal with this than what I'm doing. Like... Go ahead and use that to get our health back up. And then fall down in. 
picture in the Discord for clarification. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew what you meant. Vaguely, at least. Oh. Okay. Yes, game. I know. Big scary worm in the sewers. Yep, yep. Big scary worm in the sewers. Got it. Hit the button. Hit the button and run away. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. No, we're too close. Uh, That's not actually the right one anyways, is it? We want to go... No, not there. Where is it? Where's the other one? We already hit this one, didn't we? That's the one we hit. Power's being supplied. Run away. Okay. So yeah, we hit that one. So then we go here. It's right here. Hit the button. Push it, yes, and run the fuck away. Okay, it's on. Lower the ladder. Why did I have so much trouble doing that the first time? Why? I, dude, I must have got hit, what, like 20 times doing that the first time. It's the same damn thing. We did the same thing. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Oh, my lord. I'm, I'm angry. I am properly angry. <laughs> oh, God. See, without clarification, I would have just used the vacuum sealer. What? <laughs> what the hell? I bought Peeps face hugger. They do look kind of like face huggers. Giant face huggers, huh? You're too full to eat them? What, the Peeps? That's fine. Peeps are nasty anyway, so like... I don't see the problem here. Peeps? No. Peeps are gross, man. The marshmallow in them just is like, it's not good. Also, we didn't get the cutscene this time of this dude dying. Is he not dying because we didn't come here uh, early like we did last time? Or like... So, did we just not get the cutscene or is he not dying because we didn't come here when we did last time? Like we did last time, I mean. Sent the picture before I saw your message, Nate. Peeps are amazing. Oh, no. Okay, he's still dying. We no, just didn't see the cutscene. Don't come any closer. Stay away. Can I? Sorry, uh, you didn't see that, Mr. Man. <laughs> Nothing happened, I promise. I didn't try to shoot you. <laughs> marshmallows and plushies? Yeah, that is kind of what uh, peeps taste like. Like plastic mixed with marshmallow. You're right. You're right, yeah. Like chemically... Uh, gross plastic mixed with <laughs> mixed with marshmallow. <laughs> peeps are yum life. No, peeps are disgusting, like man. Ready to go. I gotta mute you now. Bye. Bye, Noodle. Thank you for being here. Love you, love. <laughs> Will you take the flame rounds? Hell yeah. Let's take some 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 okay. rounds for the grenade launcher that we don't have. Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. See, that's the dude she's got the hots for. Let's go. 100%. It's gotta be. Okay, well, I thought you said you were gonna operate the cable car. Go do it. Why? Why aren't you operating the car? Mikolai appears to be in pain and suffering. I, I know this. I tried to shoot him. <laughs> I mean, I didn't try to shoot him. Uh, What? Do you, do you have any idea how to run a cable car there, buddy? Buddy old pal? Mr. Mr. whatever your name is? Guy Ritchie or something? Oh, I think Mikolai might be turning. Uh, you're supposed to be operating the car, so operate the car. Don't worry. I'll take care of your buddy for her. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'll make sure he's fine. Nothing bad will will happen. Mikhail. Oh shit! Is it Nemesis? Hi. <laughs> uh, why are you always here? Get out of the cable car now. That's the plan. Wait, don't. Nope. Get Sacrifice yourself to save me. That's fine. Perfectly fine with that. Do it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Was just stating. 
So it didn't seem like I was being a smart ass to you all. Smart ass restore stream. How rude. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Damn. I guarantee you that's not the end of uh, Nemesis there. Mihaya. Nemesis will be back. Guaranteed. Oh shit, the brakes aren't working, are they? <laughs> hey, shitty cutscenes! What are we doing? Jump out of the window, use the emergency brake. Uh, I mean, use the emergency brake, man. I happen to know for a fact that Nemesis is out there, so like, I'd rather not. That cliche brake issue? Yeah, for real. Damn. Train going crazy. I'm sure it's fine. The train was built to take that sort of damage, right? Okay, well. Everything seems fine now. Uh, We're in an area. We don't know what else is in this area. We don't know if dude bro is still alive. Is this a church? Churches are creepy as shit. <laughs> like, anytime there's a church in a horror movie, it's usually not a good thing. Uh, also, shit ton of birds. These birds are not good birds. Hey, all kinds of freaking heels though. Uh, I don't think we have inventory space for that. We have inventory space for the green. We'll at least pick up the green before we leave. If you know what I mean. Okay, look. I really didn't want to waste ammo on birds, because, like, they're birds. But also, they're freaking murdering me here. Yes, take the herbs. Take all the herbs. Take it. Good job. One more. One more. You got this. Good job, Jill. Proud of you. You're doing well. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we'll be coming back here at some point, right? Y'all are assholes, you freaking birds. Um, okay, let's just try to go through the door. It's locked from the other side. Perfect. Side door? Side door. Oh, just made it out. That bird almost got us. I decay, it's creepy in person too. They always try to get me to drink blood and eat bodies. I mean, you're not completely wrong. It wouldn't be a church without some quality shit going on, you know? What do we got? Uh, the door right next to us is locked. What kind of lock? Clock is etched under the keyhole. Okay. Oh, piano. Can we play the piano? No, it doesn't seem like we can interact with it at all, really. Okay, this door then. <laughs> There's only one way we can go. So let's go that way, guys. Hey, save room. As much as I don't want to use another one so soon, um, I also don't want to fucking redo that underground section that we've died at twice. So, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna save. <laughs> You're not wrong, but in all seriousness, them crackers weren't, were not bad. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're, they're just crackers, you know? Like, I don't think there was anything special about the crackers, but... But I didn't, like, hate them either. I just... I mean, crackers are okay. I, I ain't got nothing against crackers. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch of shit, but as far as I know, nothing that we can use. The crank, maybe, but I doubt it. Especially since, uh... Like, we, we were thrust into this new area with no way back, at least not right now. I'm assuming... Like, anything that we had before, we won't need now. The clock T key, okay. Some... Is that all we needed? Clock T. It's a key ornamented, ornamented with a clock part. It has a screw-shaped ornament to be put around shaped object. Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, good. 
Good, that means there's something here. <laughs> God damn it. Why is there always something? Why can't we ever just be safe, man? Yours were baked fresh with a uh, flatbread-like recipe? I doubt ours were at the church that I went to growing up. I mean, they may have been, but it's probably like, can, can't, I'm pretty sure you can just like buy a giant packs of communion crackers. So I feel like that's probably what my church used. I don't know for sure, but that, I'm assuming that's that's all they did. Just buy like a big pack of them and hand those out with the... Uh, I'm pretty sure our church always did grape juice too. I don't think they ever actually did wine Carlos, for the blood of Christ. I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're going to get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it. How did Carlos get to the other side of the locked door? You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh. It's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. I mean, we do. No. If we're going to die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Apparently, neither, do, neither so does Jill. Up. Like, <laughs> no, I just I can't handle it. Okay, then. That was a cutscene that happened. Uh,. <laughs> So what, what, what do we get here? I mean, there's got to be something in this room, right? Freaking coward, for real, though. There's nothing in the fireplace. Can we catch the fireplace on fire? I mean, I don't have my lighter with me, so probably not. I mean, to be fair to Carlos, though, like, if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I don't know how well I would handle it. Like, we all have those fantasies of, like, going crazy, you know, with the, with the, with the guns and, and having a blast. And shit like that, but like, just just to be real, like, I don't know how well any of us would actually handle it. All right, there's more blue herbs. Like, why is there so many blue herbs? Is that an assault rifle? What is that? The mine thrower? What the hell? What the hell is a mine thrower? I mean, I'm assuming that it throws mines, but... Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and then evacuate the remaining citizens to the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation procedure. 1. Once the mission is complete or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. 2. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. 3. When you are ready for evacuation, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. Bruh, did we just find our way out? What's the mine thrower for, though? Clock tower map. That comes in handy. So there's another save room over there? I wonder why there's two save rooms so close to each other. Hmm. Not sure if that's a good thing or not, to be honest. First aid spray? Hell yeah. Nah, my fantasy is bunkering up and enjoying some peace. <laughs> you gotta come out sometime, though. That's the downside, man. Creepy ass music box is creepy. Its melody is out of order. Is there some way to fix it? Like this said it had some some sort of thingy in it. No? Okay. Huh. I guarantee you that's gonna be used in a puzzle somewhere. Uh these aren't the ones we can pick, are they? These are the ones that we can just use. Yeah, no. But we still haven't gotten any sort of poison condition that I'm aware of at least. Okay, well, we should probably go ahead and unlock this door. Um, and then there were blue herbs out here, so we could go ahead and pick up them just to get them in the just to get them in the box, you know, while we kind of think of what we need to do next. I mean, really, I guess what we need to do next is just keep following the path, right? Because like we haven't found anything anywhere else to go, anything else to use, really. We have this key. There's something probably with that music box, but like we don't know what. 
So I guess we just keep moving forward, man. Keep moving forward and uh, getting eaten by birds. Jono Noodle was scared of birds. Like, very scared of birds. And I don't know why, because she's obsessed with dinosaurs, and they're literally just like miniature dinosaurs, man. That's the rough part. You can just scavenge and go back. So you say just scavenge, but like that's not as easy. That's not like an easy thing to do. <laughs> like you don't just scavenge, you know? You gotta fucking go out in the fucking mess of it. Okay. Seems to be an old music box. Yes, yes it does. That one doesn't seem out of tune. Two music boxes. One in tune, one out of tune. Uh, music boxes are another one of those things that are like churches and shit. They're creepy as hell, especially when they're in any sort of horror thing, you know? So, I don't, I don't trust it. <laughs> There's something going on with these music boxes, goddammit. Uh, what, how's our health? Our health's okay. I'm gonna go dump some stuff in the, in the, uh, safe zone before we go any farther. Are there zombies in here now, or? Wait. This is where we came from, right? Oh, okay, the zombies were in the next room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's the room that maybe we can light the fireplace? I don't think so, though. I don't think there's anything to actually do at the fireplace. Oh. Zombros everywhere. This might be a good use for the uh for the grenade launcher. Oh shit. <laughs> really need to remember to uh reload every now and then. That would probably be smart. Oh well, it's fine. Crossbow to stay silent, shoot if necessary, and handgun for if shit hits the fan during trip. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you've ever watched any sort of, uh, any short, any sort of horror film that includes zombies before, then you know already what's gonna happen, right? Like, it's gonna be all well and dandy, and then you're gonna go out on a routine trip one day, and then for whatever reason, shit is going to hit the fan, and then you're gonna have to fire that handgun, and everything's gonna seem like it's okay, because you had that handgun and you took care of business and then suddenly you'll get up to the top of the building that you're on or whatever and you'll just see a massive horde like the world has never seen coming on your position and then everybody's gonna die and that's well that's the end of it that's that's you know that's where this that's where your story ends so like <laughs> so you take eight down and go out with a fight hell yeah dude uh <laughs> uh, I mean that's just that's just the way it's got to be though. Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry Nate, but you've you've already died, man. All right. Uh, I mean there were the stairs here. We might as well go up the stairs, see what's up here, if anything. Oh, I take it back. I don't want to go up the stairs. No, <laughs> Jill, Jill. I literally just said I don't want to go up the stairs, Jill. God damn it. She never listens, man. There's a save point on the third floor as well. Oh, hi. Spiders. Oh, hey, spiders. <laughs> uh, also, mini spiders? I didn't know mini spiders were a thing. I remember, like, spiders from, uh, I think Resident Evil 2 had spiders in the sewers. Probably in other places too, but I, I don't remember every detail because my memory is actual garbage. But like... Okay, so we're up here, but we probably can't do anything else up here right now. Since it says it's locked. Uh, will you push the switch? Sure. Okay. There's a keyhole on the ornamental copper plate. I'm assuming I can't use the key that I have there, otherwise it probably would have asked me. We will definitely take the red herbs, though. That's uh, two more full heals that we just got, basically. Like... Uh, 
that's what the handgun's for. If you have the misconception that I think I'm surviving if I fire the handgun, it's just to take some of those Fulkerson. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking the Fulkersons out with you. I really hate those guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if there's any Folker, like actual Fulkersons out there. I'm sure that's somebody's name. <laughs> okay, so it's lighting up. Fuck all. Okay, like, I don't... Hi, Mr. Uh, Nemesis, sir. Uh, what's our decision? Use the light, use the cord. Use the cord. Ah! How you like me now? Huh? He ain't dead. He'll be back again. What happens if we hit the button now? Anything? Nah, it's shorted out. 100% he's gonna come back, guys. Like, that's not the last we're seeing of Nemesis. Not at all. <laughs> Speaking of, I mean, that, that, uh, growl there sounds awfully Nemesis-like. I'm just saying. Also, I can't help but notice that all of the spiders are gone now. And I could have swore we left at least one alive. So that's not creepy. Anytime the game's taking away enemies from us, that's probably not good. Uh, okay. Music suddenly picked up. It says that door's locked, so we're not going that way. We're gonna turn and we're gonna run this way. And of course that's where he's at. Get up, Jill. Jail, get up! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uh, Nemesis, sir, for punching that zombie for me. I don't know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he killed him! He killed the zombie for us! Nemesis is good guy all along, man. He just, he thought we were zombies, that's all. <laughs> okay. Presumably, we're safe inside here, since this is a, a save area. So, fingers crossed that we're not gonna die in here. Uh, okay, nothing we can interact with either. Again, I hate saving so much, but bruh, I, I've already died so many times in this stream that I really don't want to, I really don't want to risk it. So we're gonna, we're gonna save again. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a baby about it. I'm gonna save again. I guess we're keeping the winder key because I still don't know what the hell it's used for. Like, oh shit, we need the uh, ink ribbon to save. We're probably running a bit low on ink ribbon, too. No, we do not have one. There's two more, so we have three total. Oh, uh, that's not good, man. Yeah. We're gonna have to stop saving so much after this, unless we can find more, <laughs> more ink ribbon somewhere. Oh, boy. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen at all. Um, like, I don't even know where to go or what to do. Let's reload. I, I mean, I guess not this door, right? This is the door we came in. Oh, no, this is the door. All right. We can go that way, I guess. See if there's anything out here. Preferably anything that's not Nemesis. Uh, okay, there's some ammo. Dude on fire. Do we just shoot him and get it over with? Are you dead? Okay. Will you take the clock T key? Uh, yes. So wait, do, can we put those two together? Are there any goats in this game, Goat Lord? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't really know. But I don't think so. It's a key ornamented with a clock part. I'm assuming we have to use these two in conjunction somehow, but I don't really know how they go together. Oh, hi. More zombies in here. I'll be honest, I thought your friend was the only one. I didn't realize there were more of you. On fire. In this room. Just kind of chilling. Are you all dead? I think so. 
Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, Where does this go? Does this go back to, like, the downtown area or whatever? Where we came from before? Oh, well, I mean, we can't go any farther because of the flames, though. Okay. There are no bathrooms in this game. That seems like a violation of OSHA guidelines. Honestly, though, you're not wrong. Like, I can't think of a single bathroom that I've seen in this game. And that does seem like a bit of an issue. Like, what if somebody really needs to go pee, man? How are we supposed to go pee when there ain't no bathrooms? That's a serious issue. Somebody should take that up with them. Everybody go at uh, Capcom and tell them that they need to add bathrooms to the Resident Evil 3 game. <laughs> I couldn't think for a second. All right, two A's and a B. That's what we want to mix. Because the internet tells me this will make me some more shotgun shells. And that's what we need. That's definitely what we need. Goat Lord, epic name. You're not wrong, though. Uh, da da da. I need two A's, please. A. A. And we'll need the reloading tool so we can actually turn it into munitions. Uh, combine. And then combine. A, A, B, A, A, B, and. A, 22 shells and 22 shells. It actually worked. Holy shit. That is awesome. Now we got all kinds of shells for our shotgun. We are doing great. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Piss ourselves? Hold it in until we can't anymore? For real, though. Like, none of those options sound any good to me. I mean, I guess we could just go, like, in the corner or pee in the bushes or something like that. But come on, man. We're civilized people here. We shouldn't have to pee in the bushes. We need toilets. This must be why they made sure Dead Rising had bathrooms. <laughs> the the outrage that arose whenever Resident Evil 3 came out and there were no bathrooms in it. The Dead Rising devs remembered. <laughs> they made sure. They made sure never to have a zombie game without bathrooms again. Alright, pull up the map. Uh, okay, we might be able to go through that door. We never even tried it last time because we were too busy running away from Nemesis. But Nemesis doesn't appear to be here anymore. Old books are scattered about. Really? I couldn't see that game. Thank you for giving me that that absolutely vital information. Uh, hi, Zombro. You can die if you don't mind. Appreciate it. Nothing suspicious here. Uh, I beg to differ. Seems to be a lot of suspicious things around here. A picture postcard of antique clocks. Uh, okay. They're all set to 12. The following verse is printed. Give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together to pray before her. Yep. Like I said, got some cult shit going on here. Doesn't it look like there's something in that drawer? Can we pick that up? Maybe? Nothing suspicious. Well, what is in that drawer? Oh, thank God. More ink ribbons. <laughs> I was really hoping we would get more of those soon. That's actually really good. Okay. Wasn't there... Bro, am I blind or is there a door over here somewhere? Is it... Is it this one? Is this the door that's locked? Oh, it's this one. Holy crap. Okay. The god of time is etched under the keyhole. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> what? The God of Time is that? Oh wait, wait, hold on. Pictures, pictures on the wall. Also, hi. You are grenade ammo that I somehow walked right past. You think Dead Rising is Capcom? Also, I think you're right. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so here's a couple pictures of people. Um, kind of like that art card. Can we do something with it? No? Okay. And we can't, just to confirm, we can't combine those in any way, right? Yep, nope, that does nothing. Okay. Excellent, excellent. So, so far, here's what we know about the game. Nothing. Uh, zero things. We are lost as shit. 
Uh, we have two keys that we don't know what to do with. And that's about it. Hmm. That crank that I honestly don't think we need anymore, but it's in our inventory, so... Okay. Is there anywhere we haven't gone yet? No. Besides that one room that we can't do anything with. And then there's the two music boxes. Maybe we can use the key on, like, the music box or something? Because the, the one music box it did say was out of key. Oh, shit. Ad's about to start. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Wasn't paying enough attention. Sorry. Definitely not clear, either. All right, that's, uh, da -da -da. we might as well, since we have the one thing up, we'll do double attack again. And we're not going to die from the, the rebound attack that he's going to do on us, but I don't see any reason not to get Royal Grace up. Royal Grace gives us a little bit of health every turn. It's not as much as what could really be considered useful, but I'm going to get it up anyways. Then we'll do Ectelian Wrath. I probably shouldn't have done the double attack since we have haste up on him anyways. But, oh well. At least your sister has confidence in you, so that's something right. I mean, yeah, that's nice. She trusts you. You gotta, you gotta... You gotta appreciate that a little bit at least, right? I don't see any reason not to just keep using a doors, Wrath. Two main roots are good. The rest is rough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you just meant in general, man. Don't trust anything you can see. Like, damn, boy. Hit me with that philosophy over there. <laughs> All right. Um, we should be fine if we attack again with him. We're going to be hurting, but we shouldn't be dead. So who exactly is the Witch King? The Witch King is a... A man that was corrupted by Sauron, if I remember my lore correctly, it's perfectly possible that I don't. But a man that was corrupted by Sauron a long time ago. Um, and upon his death, he, he kind of turned into this, this beast here that you see before us. Uh, and the Witch King specifically is the most powerful of all of them. Because he had corrupted, what was it, like nine men or something like that? I, I don't remember exactly but kind of a zombie kind of but like from all right sorry about that i wasn't paying enough attention to the uh the sidebar there i didn't realize that a ad was about to pop and uh yeah i didn't want to didn't want to miss the the game for that uh it was good though i need to stand up and crack my back and do all that anyways you get so sucked into the game sometimes man you just forget to like take care of yourself um, so there could be more stuff, like, out in the courtyard, maybe, too, to do. That's that's a possibility. Because I've been so busy running away from the, uh... From the crows out there that I didn't really try clicking on things to see if there was anything we could do. I don't... Uh, we could double check up top, too. Maybe there's something we can do up top. That I missed. So the two times we were up there, we were running away from the... The, uh... Spiders the first time and the Nemesis the second time. And I don't... Yeah, I doubt we can use the keys here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is this still out of key? Out of tune, I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Huh. Hmm. A lot of the main cards for it that I didn't have anymore are super cheap now. That's dope, dude. It's melody is out of order, whatever. Out of tune, out of order. Close enough, right? Random desk. Can I do anything with this desk? There's probably something sitting there at one point. I just forget. <laughs> to be honest. Okay, let's go back out to the courtyard. Uh, Actually, let's go upstairs first. Because we know there's crows outside that we have to deal with. <laughs> so if we don't have to deal with them again, that would be even better. If we can just go up top here and uh, do something here. Put your hands together. Praise the lords of time or whatever the fuck it said. 
and it showed three pictures with clocks above them. So like that's that's a hint at something, obviously. And then out here. We did get another key, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe that key goes out here? I doubt it. Oh, what's this? This is new. The Eagle Parts A? Bruh. Wait, are we, like, building another gun? We use the bezel key? What's the bezel key? What? You no longer need this? I mean, sure, but what the hell was the bezel key? Okay, I guess that was clock tower lock key two, three, whatever, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> sure, whatever. Point is, we made it to another area, that's good. And this area looks like it's got more ammo and something else that we can pick up, which is silver gear. Okay, that might go to the, uh, to the, to the out of, the melody out of order thing. Has so many win conditions without needing a lot of mana on field. You'll be spending maybe 20, 30 bucks to get them all. That doesn't sound that bad. I, uh, I've never, like, built a deck with, like, a, a specific strategy in mind beforehand, I don't think. Like, I also don't spend a lot of time looking at other cards that could possibly be used either, though. Like, generally speaking... A beautifully ornamented gadget. Hmm. Uh, generally speaking, whenever I make a deck, it's just I look through the cards I have and come up with strategies from there. So, like, that's probably part of the reason why, you know? So, I, whenever a new set of, like, Pokemon comes out, because obviously I don't really play Magic, but whenever a new set of Pokemon comes out, I'll, I'll usually just look at the, the other cards in the set once, like, give them a quick once-over, um, and then that's pretty much it. Like, I don't spend much time focusing on the cards I don't have. A music box with elaborate ornamentation. There are switches marked A to F. Will you operate the switches? Yes. We're totally going to have to fuck this up to be like that one that's messed up downstairs, aren't we? Move it up or down. Switch A. I I think switch A is fine. Switch B. Up. S switch B. Yeah, okay, sure. Next. No. Down? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> Shit, I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't pay that much attention to it downstairs. Uh, next. Switch D. Uh, down. Sure. Next. Switch E. Up. Switch E. Ne or next. Switch F. It's already... So, up. Play. Ew, sour note. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are switches marked. Yes, yes. Operate the switches. Yes, I know what it sounds like. Okay, now it's creepy pretty music box. That's I'm trying to I'm trying to replicate the creepy one, the the one that was out of order downstairs, but I don't remember exactly what it sounded like. Move it up or down. We'll move that one down. I think it was I think it was in the up position. Like that. Switch C. Sure. Next. Ah, oh, 
man. You might have to go back down and listen to it again. And then... I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember anything sounding like bad. It was just, you know, like off, just wrong. That do anything? Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, we might have to double check the one downstairs because I'm sure there's something going on with that, right? Like. There's no way that it's there for no reason at all. Um, okay, let's dump whatever. Do we have anything to dump? Or we already did. We already did. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. Uh, hopefully we don't die. <laughs> you traded sold some of the key cards when they rotated out of standard. Damn, now I really want a music box. You have an old jewelry box with pretty music. But I want something like this now. <laughs> Like, something that you can change like that, or just something with that kind of tune to it, do you mean? I bet somebody has made... Um... The Resident Evil 3 music box, like, a real thing. I pretty much guarantee someone's done it, you know? Okay. I'm gonna turn up the game audio a little bit. It doesn't get too much louder, but we're gonna, we're gonna give a listen. Everybody, we're gonna pay extra attention... To this fucked up music box. Because I think we got to try to match it upstairs. Did everybody get that? Because <laughs> I hardly did. We're gonna we're gonna give it a listen again. I don't know. I'm bad with music puzzles. Okay, I mean that's that's what we got. We're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to replicate it, man. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Something that big or something like this mini one you have somewhere. Ooh, maybe one with Pan's Labyrinth music. I don't even remember Pan's Labyrinth. I'm fairly certain I've watched it once. But, like, I don't remember anything from it. Other than it being kind of creepy. <laughs> I wish with the music box thing that we could, like... Is there a back button? I think there might have been a back button. I wish we could, like, play through it without having to go through the whole little cutscene again every time, though. Like, beginning to end. That's the only way I think I'm going to end up getting it. It's totally in Spanish, but you love it. See, I don't mind. I watch a lot of anime and things in, uh, in, in Japanese, so, like... Are you sure we're supposed to be doing the bad one? Nope. I am not. I'm not sure at all. <laughs> it's just it sounds like it's already in tune whenever we, we play it, right? Like in order. I mean, we'll try to just do it right and see what happens. Okay, that doesn't sound right. No, don't end, you piece of shit. I didn't mean to hit end. <laughs> yes, operate the damn switches. I mean, for all I know, we could be just uh, just trying to replicate that right there, but I, I have no idea. 
Switch A, leave in the down position. Switch B. That sounds bad. Okay, that sounds good. C. Maybe? No, that sounds better to me. Nope, that, that sounds... That sounds off. I mean, that sounds good. Okay, that sounded pretty good. Uh, I mean, if we're trying to do it right, I think it's that, right? So then next. And then it would probably be that one. That one, that one sounds off. Like, that's not in key or whatever. So then that one. I mean, we'll play it. Anything? Hey, okay. Okay, I guess I guess good was right. I'm assuming. At least I tried to do good there. Like, not have it sound fucked up at all. We take the Kronos chain. That seems... Uh... Odd. A chain made to a door a god of time. There's a small screw hole near the ornament. Uh... I don't suppose you'll combine with that, will you? You will. Now we got the Kronos key! Hell yeah, okay. So... That probably will work in that door downstairs that we didn't have a key for, but I still don't know what to do with this. Right? Like, we got that gear here. But it didn't do anything whenever we used it last time. It just it got, like, locked up. Nothing happened. Yeah, so we must need to... Maybe that, that one room that we haven't gotten the chance to go through yet. There must be something there that we need to do before we can mess around with that. So, let's go back down. Let's go to that one room, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there, I suppose, man. You just finished off one of the 16-ounce bottles. It's as light as a plastic one. That's sick. See, that's what I say, man. Like, aluminum is actually kind of amazing. They need to, they need to make more water bottles out of aluminum, IMO. Honestly. It's just it's just a good idea in general. I'm sure it costs a little bit more to produce or whatever, but like I don't know about most people, but if I have to pay an extra like five cents for my bottle of water for it to be made out of aluminum, like that's fine. I'll pay the extra five cents, you know? <laughs> like I might be broke, but I ain't that broke. Uh okay, so right on the other side of this door. I'm gonna try that. I'm starting to get a headache. Need to take some Tylenol. Will you discard it? Yeah, I guess, man. That's all we were doing with the Kronos key. That was one thing about Resident Evil 1 is like each key did a lot of different stuff. And I feel like they kind of got away from that, you know? Like Resident Evil 2 had less of one key doing multiple things, I feel like. And then now here in 3, it's like each key never does more than one thing, essentially. Are we poisoned? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, we might be if all these little dudes get their way. Holy shit. Oh, my God. There's so many big spider bros. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect there to be so many. I thought, like, okay, that one is all we're going to have to deal with. The rest is fine. Uh, there's a lot of dead people in here. Uh, hi. Oh, you had stuff. Mercenary's pocketbook. September 26th. It's only been three hours since the mission started, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of the zombies is far greater than we expected. There is no hope left for this city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that it'll work. I don't know if I will survive. Ah. Sorry, chair's broken. Hold on. That's fine, whatever. Okay, good enough. <laughs> so they got an antibody for it? Uh, bruh. Why don't you just share that with the entire city, then? We managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we've robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the surviving citizens as decoys. Holy shit, you guys are some terrible mercenary dudes. 
We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. Uh, bruh. <laughs> I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, All I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before, but now the clock tower has become a dangerous place and I don't want to make any more mistakes. So he fell in love with this girl because they look, she looked like his sister or just because like, whatever, I don't know. A crystal ball is on the tray. Sure. Are they all holding crystal balls? Obsidian ball. Oh. Okay. So we probably got to put the balls on the right statue. And I don't know. Amber ball. I'm not great with balls, man. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a ton of experience with them. Just like. So what else is there? I mean, there's the, the, the one area right there, obviously, that we're going to have to do something with. I think we just need to line all the clocks up to 12. Will you take the MT rounds? Uh, yeah. That's the Magnum, right? Spare bell for the clock tower. It would take incredible strength to move it. Hey, Nemesis! <laughs> Can I use you for a second there, bud? Hey, bud. You want to you wanna, you wanna maybe take care of that for me real quick? So in that picture that we saw, all of these were... Oh. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Uh, this one here looks super light. What if we put you there? Will you put the amber ball on the tray? Yes. Hey, look at that. Okay. So, and I think we want them all at 12 o'clock. So, wait, do I just keep the other two? Or, like... Uh, game? You gonna load? Game? Okay, holy shit, dude. I got scared for a moment. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. Put this one here. See what happens. Guys, I am a steady spaghetti. What happened? I don't mind the little extra. It seems a little crisper. Plus, I typically will reuse them. My son's mad at me. What? Crisper? Oh, do you mean like the water's crisper? <laughs> Game! Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, like, each one moves that one in the middle. But do they all three need to be here to, to do anything? Yes. Okay. Hey, we did it! First try. Fucking professionals, man. I'm telling you. Okay, so now we got the gold one. So, maybe the gold one's what we need to use upstairs. But what's the silver one for, then? Like, why do we have two? There's no Pan's Labyrinth music box? No way. I refuse to believe it. Oh, shit. Okay, we put the two together. Hey, even better, man. That works. <laughs> uh, For some reason, I feel like we're going to get fucked any minute now. I don't know why, but <laughs> but that's, that's what it feels like to me, man. And it doesn't feel good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Spider Bros. <laughs> uh, Okay. Yep. Uh, Jill, reload faster. Are we are we dying? No. Okay, we're actually fine. Like, we've taken no damage at all. And as far as I can tell, we're not poisoned or anything. Bro, yeah, we're like, we're like perfectly fine, dude. Holy shit. Okay, dope. The water is crisper. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if I agree with that statement. But like, I never really understood the crispy water thing. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm weird. I don't, I don't know how water is crisp. Like, it's just, it's water. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But, I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Which way are we going? We're going this door, I think, right? Is it this one? Yes, we're trying to go back upstairs. So, yeah, yeah, that's the one. He hit me and got put in timeout in <laughs> a stern talking. That's why he's mad. I mean, yeah, okay. Poor little guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, children are funny sometimes, man. Like, I, I really do like kids. I just, 
I don't know if I can handle taking care of one all the time. Hence why uh, Mr. Noodle and I don't have any. You're like. <laughs> Ouch, Nate. Seriously, nothing. I kept getting results for the Labyrinth movie with David Bowie. Fuck those ugly things. The kids or the spiders? Like. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know which one you're talking about, at least. Best way you can think to describe it. I know, and I'm the one that feels bad. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's how it works, man, every time. No kids for me. I can't handle those little shits. I know. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I said it. <laughs> okay, so we're ringing the bell, which means that the helicopter should be coming to save us now, right? <laughs> right, guys? We're gonna be saved. Please. Get me out of here. Why not both? Game, load, please. We're gonna save. That's actually what I got in here for, was to save. Not because, like, I'm worried about us dying anytime too soon, but how long it's been taking the game to open the menus lately has got me scared, I'm not gonna lie. Like... I'm worried about the game crashing or freezing or something. Because uh, the PS3 does use emulation. Like, it it could definitely fuck up. Also, apparently there were more ink ribbons there that I didn't see. So, I'm glad that we uh, clicked this. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's a good song. Machinery room 14. Q. Q, Q, Q. Alright. Uh, oh, you know the other thing I forgot to do? Take a Tylenol, like I said I was going to do. So while we're in this safe zone, give me like 20 seconds to take a Tylenol. I'll be right back. Okay, I lied about the 20 second thing. It's taking it's taking just a tiny bit longer than that. I forgot that I finished my diet caffeine free coke. <laughs> ah, there we go. <clears throat> Tylenol achieved. Here we go. Game, are you okay? What do you mean? Why wouldn't the game be okay? Did something happen? Oh, wait. Did it freeze up for you? Because, like, the game is working. Like, we're moving around and stuff. So if you can't see it moving around, then Twitch might have froze for you. You might need to, you might need to do a refresh or something. Because, yeah. Like... <laughs> I have the, uh, the the stream manager pulled up on one of my, my other monitors. You thought you saw it freeze. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thankfully, it has not. I'm worried about it freezing. That's why we made that extra save, though. Uh, another cutscene? Hey, helicopter! You're safe. Nope. <laughs> you fucking thought. Bye bye, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nemesis, bro. Why? Every time. Is it, though? Is it? No, it's not. Definitely not. Are we getting a, a situational thing here? What's going on? Oh, nope. We're infected with the... With the virus now, aren't we? Carlos! Lover boy, thank you. I mean, technically, he's not stars. He's just a random mercenary. Owie? Owie is right. Unless you're into the whole tentacle thing, and you know. Yeah. 
you literally just had a missile go off behind you or an RPG. Like, I'm pretty sure you're dead, Carlos. <laughs> if you're not, then I think you might secretly be Nemesis. <laughs> Barney bastard? Yeah, I think you might have sent that just a, uh, just a moment too soon. Uh, I can't control anything at the moment. This is still cutscene. Okay, now I can control it. Do I have any way out of here? It doesn't look like it. What I can see on the map looks like I am stuck in this little area. Which is probably why they gave me the fucking magnum rounds that I totally should have used. Uh, but it's too late now. Jill, fucking run, Jill. Jill. <laughs> oh, God. Stop chasing me. Oh, God. We're gonna die, dude. Oh, we got the virus. Uh, the health spray did nothing. We still have the virus. Do we have to die here? We might have to die. I don't know. Are we just trying to get to Carlos? Maybe we're just trying to get to Carlos. Nope. That did nothing. Oh, God. We're so fucked. I'm so glad we saved a moment ago. Can we go through the fire and flames? Shit. <laughs> get up, Jill. Shoot it. Oh, fuck. We're out of, we're out of ammo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, we're not out of ammo, but, like, we forgot to reload. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. God, we're so screwed. <laughs> yep, we're dead. Are we going to come back because of the virus, or is that, like, GG? That's GG. Okay. So that's all right. We know, we know what's going to happen now. We'll bring the big guns. That's what we got the, the Magnum and the grenade launcher for. I mean, I, I can't think of anything. Like, we have to fight him, right? There was nowhere to run or anything we could do. So, Residence. luckily we made that save right before we came down here. I guess it's kind of a uh, blessing in disguise, the game taking forever to going to the uh, menus. Because if it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't have saved the game. <laughs> and then we would have been doing all that over again. <laughs> I will survive. They can't stop my last escape. Actually, they just kind of proved they can, Jill. <laughs> Sorry to tell you there, but, uh, yeah, about that. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do, right? We'll, we'll drop these off. Because we, we don't need that. We'll take a bunch of full heals with us. Because why not? Uh, the mine thrower? I don't know if that's, like, anything decent at all. We'll take that. We'll take that. And then we'll also take the grenade launcher and the magnum. And I think, I think that's everything we need. Oh, wait, 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 nope, nope, nope. We grab the, the red stuff, but we need the green stuff to put with it. Otherwise it's kind of useless. I guess, I guess that leaves us with one extra slot. MT rounds, check. Special bullets that burst if anyone other than the user approaches thanks to the equip sensor. Use for the mine. Oh, that's mine thrower rounds. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually equip the mine thrower. I don't know. Let's try that out. I have no idea if it's any good or not, but we'll try it. Yes, we'll go down. Let's go. You got any believers in chat? Let's do this. 100%. We're going to win it. Oh, wait. We still have to deal with the spiders on our way back through, don't we? So... Re-equip that. <laughs> let's uh let's deal with the spiders, I guess, before we before we pull out the the, the mines and the rockets and, and all that good stuff. Oh wait, no we don't. I'm fucking stupid, never mind. That was that was the last save section. Skip the cutscene, we know what's gonna happen. Everything's gonna get fucked. Mr. Nemesai is alive. Dude never dies. Alright, let me let me pull up the menu, please. Please let me pull up the menu. Thank you. Okay, uh mine thrower. Equip. And then run away. And then Did that actually work? Okay. 
it actually stuck a mine to him. Uh, not quite what I had expected, maybe, but... Uh, run away, Jill! Run away! <laughs> Hopefully it's doing more damage than, like, our regular gun is or whatever. Okay, use the full heal. Jesus, Jill! Jill, what are you doing? Okay. You know what? As cool as the mine thrower is, um, it's way too slow. It's way too slow, man. Like... Oh, God. We're so fucked. Okay. Uh... Get up, Jill! Oh. Oh, buddy. Okay, use the... Use the heal. And then run the fuck away. And, uh... I think the Magnum is the most powerful gun in the game. So... Just fucking shoot him! Okay, we can we can keep dodging apparently. I don't know I don't know how the dodging mechanic works, but like oh god, we're so fucked. Get get down. Wait, are we out of ammo for it? Okay, we're out of ammo for it. Uh grenade launcher, hopefully the grenade launcher doesn't like hurt us when it's used up close. Oh, did we do it? Did we do it? Oh no, he's still he's still up. Uh he's getting back up, I mean. Uh, okay. You know what we might be able to do is put down a mine or two, like, uh, and then I guess just re-equip the grenade launcher again, and as soon as- Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, uh, game. Let me, let me not die, please. Wait, do we, do we have another full hero? No, we used both already, didn't we? God damn it, it's GG again, isn't it? Shit. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, we learned that the mine launcher is probably trash. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. So I guess we'll just have to try the the Magnum and the the uh, grenade launcher, right? Resident Evil. I don't I don't know, I don't know, man. Uh. Resident Evil 3, not 4, Nemesis. Okay, uh, let's grab, and we'll take, we'll take the extra full heal with us. I left one because I thought, you know, it'll be fine, right? No, apparently not, apparently not. Okay, so the shotgun did actually end up being useless to us there. So we'll switch that for that, that for that. Switch this for a green herb, and another green herb, and ammo. And then we need the magnum, please. Uh, I said magnum, thank you. And grenade launcher. And then we never found eagle parts B, so I'm assuming we can't really do anything with that. Grenade rounds, flame rounds. Okay! Try one more time. We got this, I'm sure. Combine all that up. Let's go. Oh wait, equip the weapon. That that'll come in handy. I'm sure that'll definitely come in handy. Uh Yep, go down the ladder.
We're not saved, Jill. Stop it. <laughs> Stop lying to yourself, Jill. It's pointless. We're not even close to saved. Fucking boss fights, man. Shitty boss fights with shitty bosses. <laughs> Yep. Nope. Okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Get up, Jill. Get up. I I can't tell how much damage we've actually taken because of the whole the virus thing. Like it doesn't show us colors anymore. Okay, we're we're getting close, but we're not dead yet. Okay, we're out of ammo. Oh, we're about to get hit though. Ah, uh, fuck. I was hoping we could dodge. No, 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 no. Game. Fuck, dude. Oh. Fuck. This boss is tough? No shit, dude. It is. And the worst part is, unless this is the end of the game, which I don't think it is, but unless this is the end of the game, like, he's probably gonna come back at some point. Like... Fuck, dude. Yeah, because we never even found Type C gunpowder, did we? Or do you mix A and B to turn it into Type C? I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's, uh, gun. Well, I mean, I guess I don't have any type C left anyways, or type B left. So, like, either way, it's kind of, it's kind of a, 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 a moot point. Yeah, okay. A and B mixed together make C. But we don't have any B types left. Because, I mean, like, there is the other kinds of, uh like gun ammo grenade ammo that we could have tried to make i don't know if it would actually help or not and the whole dodge mechanic doesn't seem to work consistently so i think it's dumb to stand in one spot and try to do that i think we're better off running around like i was doing the the first time that we tried um so we're gonna we're gonna switch back to that <laughs> okay let's pick up all the stuff we need again uh, there's a full heal that I missed last time, so that might come in handy. We need the two greens. Uh, grenade launcher. Magnum. Not the eagle parts that we don't have the rest for. And then I think that's everything that could possibly be useful, yeah. Okay! So we're just gonna have to run around like fucking mad and hope for the best, man. Combine. Combine. Uh, combine with flame rounds. I'm assuming flame rounds will do more damage. And then as much as I hate wasting green uh, herbs, I wonder if we should make yet another full heal with the green herbs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we have six. That's a fair amount, so screw it. It's kind of a waste, and I might hate myself for it later. We're making another full heal, man. There we go. So we have five full heals. <laughs> and, uh... Worst comes to worst, let's go ahead and grab... That mine gun, too. Since we have the inventory space for it, I don't think it's as good as the magnum or grenade launcher, but... Just in case uh, it's not enough to kill him. Let's go ahead and grab that shit. We'll start with the Magnum, because again, I think it's the strongest gun in the game. Although that Eagle might be, actually. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay. We're just gonna try to play it safe this time. Try to. We got this. We need, we need, we need to believe. 
Where's Where's Nate and Noodle with the uh, You Got This posts that they like to put in chat all the time? <laughs> Whenever everything's fucked and I'm definitely not going to win and they just randomly throw up, Oh, you got this. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, actually, but thanks for the, uh, thanks for the kind words. You got this. I believe in you. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. Shoot and run. Shoot and run. Shoot. I don't even think we hit him. Can you get stuck? Okay. Yep. Good. Good job. Good job turning around and aiming properly. Uh, can we, can we juke him? Oh shit. Yep. Well, we got the juke, but we're not like aiming at him. Oh, okay. Yep. Good, good job. Freaking running away, Jill. You bastard. Okay, we're kind of stuck in a corner here. I don't like that. Okay, we're already holding our side. Okay. Sh shoot him and run. Okay, yep. We're healing. I don't know if we technically need to or not, but we're healing. Wait, I used, I used the full heal. Why am I still holding my side? I used a full heal. Uh, okay, we're still holding our side. What the hell? Is it because of the virus? Maybe we're always holding our side because of the virus. Ah, damn it. Ah, shit. Okay, yep. Please tell me we're not dead. Okay, we're not dead, but I feel like maybe we should use another full heal if we get free. We're not free. Oh, thank, thank goodness. I feel like we're just wasting it, though. Like, I I don't think the heals are actually doing anything. Oh, shit, we're out of ammo. Fuck, that's not helping anything. Just run away, run away, run away. Ow. Okay, that, that probably hurt a bit. Oh, good job. Good dodge. Fucking run away, Jill. Run, Jill, run. Keep running. Keep juking. Okay, he's down. Uh, I'm gonna use... Uh, fuck, I don't even know if we need to. Like, it doesn't look like we're really all that hurt. How's our ammo situation? It's empty. Thank goodness I checked. Okay. Put the regular grenade rounds in. Okay. Nope, 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 Let us down. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use another heal. As soon as we get up, again, no idea if we actually need to. I don't know if the heals are doing literally anything at all, but it's the only thing I can do. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Get up. Get up and run. Get up and run. Get up and run, Jill. Don't just stand there. He's coming for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, we're definitely hurt now because, like, she's having trouble walking. Fucking run, Jill, run! You little bastard. Oh, thank goodness for the roll. Oh, God, is it done? Is it done? Oh. Oh, I think it's done. We probably wasted so many heals there that we didn't need to. But I don't know how to tell. Like, in that situation, we couldn't actually see, and we were always holding our side, even after using heals and shit. Carlos. But we made it through. Uh. We fucking did it. Uh, kinda. Oh, my lord, man. That was tough. Not gonna lie, that was tough. Jill. Jill. Yeah, just shake her violently. I'm sure that won't cause any sort of damage to her or anything like that. Jill! Jill! <laughs> Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. If y'all couldn't hear, that was Jill. She was saying, October 1st, I woke up to the sounds of rain. I couldn't believe I was still alive. Uh, 
Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry. Jim. You're infected, you this dumbass. Is, safe. is it though? I don't think anywhere's really safe. Virus, haven't I? Hey. Take it easy. More violent the shake, the better the heal. I don't okay. think it works that way. Don't feel any pain. <laughs> but that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. <laughs> I don't think, like, it's really a choice, man. I don't think you just get to choose if the virus wins or not, you know? All right, we're Carlos now. What's Carlos got? He's got a hundred percent on a assault rifle, a Merc's handgun, and a couple ink ribbons. Okay, uh, we're definitely saving as soon as we come across somewhere we can save. <laughs> if I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want no. a word that <laughs> Everybody heard that, right? She told me to kill her if anything happens. Do we have access to the full inventory or just his stuff? Okay, it looks like just his own stuff. Uh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Old typewriter. Yes, we're definitely saving. I never want to have to do that fight again. Thank you very much. Chapel. Overwrite. Definitely. Even though we did do, like, way more healing than we probably needed to, I still don't want to risk it. Like... I mean, that took us, what, like four tries or whatever? Yeah, I'd rather not have to do that again. Uh, Sorry. Map? Where are we going? Like, what's even the point? What are we trying to accomplish with Carlos? Oh, Carlos, you dumbass. Get him off you. His character portrait looks way better than his full model. I feel like that's very common in PlayStation 1 games, though. But you're right. Like, <laughs> you're definitely right. Seriously, like, what are we trying to accomplish? There's nothing new here that I can see. Uh, other than a bunch of zombies that weren't here before. So where are we going? What are we doing? Um, is there anything... New. Okay, so there, there's some damage going on here. So there's some places that I can't go. Presumably, there's somewhere new that I can go because of that? Uh, I'm completely guessing. Maybe this way? Or wait, that... Was that back door back there unlocked before? Maybe we go that way, actually. Let's try that. Let's go through here. I'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario, it uh, doesn't work out for us. Oh, good. More, more creepazoids. Just freaking shoot them, you dumbass. <laughs> okay, the assault rifle, not terrible. I feel like it's gonna quickly eat through ammo, though. Like, the fact that we have 100% ammo, I feel like it isn't going to last. So, we should probably dodge who we can. Because <laughs> all we have is this 100% uh, full clip and then the handgun. Yeah, we're already down to 86. Alright, there was a door. Ah, it's still being blocked by the bell. I feel like Jill's going to end up turning into Nemesis in one way or the other, and then she's going to move that bell, like, or at least get some of the Nemesis-type powers, you know? I feel like that's what's going to end up happening here. I didn't mean to press select. Huh, okay, so nothing we can do here. Maybe we can go back out to the other side of the, whatchamacallit, where we fought Nemesis and the, the cable car, the other side of the cable car. Maybe there will be something new over there. Big maybe. No idea. 100% guessing. <laughs> that is this away. Uh, 
Uh, another save room. Uh, I'm not going to save again. Come on. We literally haven't done anything but run across the house. Uh, there's somebody in here now. Oh, good dogs. My favorite. Oh, good. And they can also take, like, multiple shots and be perfectly fine. That's also wonderful. How are you still alive? You're taking more shots than the Creepazoids. Holy shit, dude. That's probably, like, we're down to 70%. <laughs> And there's, like, nothing to do out here, either. Son of a bitch. Okay. So, are we gonna end up just running, like, all over the place, and then we go back to Jill, and Jill's, like, transformed now or something? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> like, are we just here to waste time as him, or is there an actual goal here that we have? Because right now, it seems like we're doing nothing but wasting a bunch of time, I'll be honest. Okay, we gotta go back out this way. Sure, Carlos' mother is lovely, and here you are insulting her. <laughs> Look. Yeah, there's literally nowhere else we can go. Because we can't get around the bell. There was nothing out there that I saw, unless I'm missing something. All the other exits are blocked off. So unless there's something in this room... Right? Did we miss anything in here? We can't interact with that anymore. Okay. Are we just on, like, zombie killing duty? Like... Do we just have to clear a path to try to, to, to move her or something? Like, oh god, we're dead. Carlos is so dead. Shoot him, for fuck's sakes! Carlos, you bastard, shoot them all! <laughs> is he actually dead? He's actually dead. Okay. God, we're so hurt, too. <laughs> like, we're straight up in caution now. And I hear more here somewhere. I can't tell if we're actually hitting him, though. There's nothing in the fireplace. Well, that's that's helpful. Thanks. And now you're insulting his father? I, mean, I didn't technically insult his father, right? I just said he was a bastard. I didn't say his father was a bastard. Okay, I think everyone's dead. Jill, how are you doing in here, man? You okay? I killed all the zombies I could find. Oh, nope, never mind. There's more zombies. I forgot about these ones, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what else to do except for try to kill all these dudes, so, like... How's our clip doing? You insulted his father's honor? Oh, no. Not his honor. All right. Place your bets. Is Jill still going to be alive in here? <laughs> Hi, Jill. I killed everyone. How you feeling? I must take care of her as soon as possible. How? With what? What am I missing, man? I must take care of her as soon as possible. With a bullet to the head, you think? We'll try shooting her. We have to take a break here in just a minute anyway, so fuck it. Let's try it. Let's grab the handgun. Quip. Aim. Down. Fire. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But we do have to take a break because the ad's about to run in like a minute. So we'll be right back. We're going to play probably another, at least another half hour, maybe another hour of Resident Evil. I was really hoping we could beat it today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen, sadly. So we'll be back, though. Be back. I'm just wondering how many times I can say back. Backstreet's back. All right. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Uh, back. <laughs> that's uh, infecting the mortal whelm. Mortal whelm. Mortal Realm? Oh, Lord. Can you tell I just woke up from a nap not too long before this? 
Well, shit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, he'll be easy. I ain't worried about him. He should go down, no problem, man. I mean, look at that. We're already back up to full health again. Like, what's he gonna do to us, you know? <laughs> what do we got under light crap? Just the healing. Nothing under there. Okay. Uh, crippling smash. Every time it's your turn, do crippling smash. We can stun, but... Oh, no. <laughs> I already know what you're trying to do. I knew it. <laughs> well, there's one plus side to this. I don't have to do it again for five days at least. So, it went through. So, I hope y'all are ready for your ABCs and 1-2-3s for the next five minutes. Because that's what you're about to get. I just woke up so it's gonna be hard uh e-i-e-i-o <laughs> i can hardly think as it is and singing makes it so much worse one of these days i'm gonna have to look up songs that i can sing every time or something i don't really feel the love but thank you i guess man you're the best <laughs> or worst i don't really know Mr. Noodle, don't you laugh. You're just uh, 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 making it worse. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's use a... I don't know. I, we don't need heals or anything else. We can try a spirit power. Maybe that'll help or probably not. Rue, he probably can't do them on stream, but he got two singing games, this is true. It's uh, Disney Sing It, High School Musical, and I think the other one's just Disney Sing It. But I'm sure all that shit is copyright, so that's not happening. Uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> but I needed them for the collection, and they were like a dollar, and I had 20% off, so... <laughs> Uh, hold on, Google. Okay, we're back. And uh, full disclosure, I looked up what to do with him because I had no fucking idea and I didn't want to be running around for hours trying to figure it out. Um, apparently that bell, <laughs> we don't have to like come back as like a souped up Jill or anything crazy like that. We just have to fucking push it, apparently. I didn't I didn't run up against it long enough for him to start pushing. Or maybe because I was actually holding the run button. That's why it didn't run. I don't know. But point is, we had to go back there and, and push it out of our way. So that's where we're going. I have no idea how long we're going to be playing as Carlos. But I do know that we've already used like most of our ammo. So this is not looking good. Yeah, we're down to 26% <laughs> on our assault rifle. And we're also very damaged. So, like, guys, this is looking bad. <laughs> we might be fucked. Uh, at least we at least we uh, remembered to save. So if we do die with Carlos, it's not going to be the end of the world. This is the exit. We want to go the other way. Towards the towards the bell room. So we're going we're going this door. Is there a spider or a creepazoid or whatever left in here? I think so. But those are pretty easy to, to run around. Like, one of them shouldn't be too hard to run around. Although, he's in a different position this time than he was the other time. But it's fine. We got around him anyways. No problemo. Too easy. Um, okay. So, Bell. Apparently, push. I'm so mad. <laughs> there we go. That's That's all we had to do. Now we can continue on. So all that ammo we wasted by going back to Jill, all the damage we took, we didn't have to do none of that. Okay, there's zombies. Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? A door that we can't go through. That's the park, apparently. Okay. And then the hospital. Well, we're trying to get Jill help, right? So we probably need to go to the hospital. I assume there's going to be some drugs or something there that can maybe help her. 
um, some sort of antiviral thing for the T virus or, or whichever one we have, N virus at the moment. I don't know. Whichever one turns you into the freaking Hulk, like. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay, the hospital didn't seem to fare too well. I'll say that much. Uh, cutscene. Ew. Uh, you look friendly. Uh, maybe we should equip our other weapon. And maybe we should start shooting! <laughs> Are you dead? Oh, there's another one! We're so fucked, dude. We're so fucked. We're, we're gonna be... We're, like, completely out of ammo. We have 7% left. Holy shit. If there's... <laughs> If there's not more ammo around here somewhere, we're screwed. Okay, well, there's two red herbs. That's nice. Um, Because he does need some health. But he also really needs <laughs> some freaking ammo, please, for this assault rifle. The one thing I really like about the assault rifle, though, like, while it does seem to take a lot of shots to kill someone, one, it shoots fast, of course, because it's a freaking assault rifle. But also... um. It seems to, like, stop people from moving. Like, it, it has some knockback, some stun effects or whatever to it. Your guide to health insurance? Thanks. Yep, that's what I needed. A guide to health insurance. Game. Uh... Okay, we found another save room, though. I'm real iffy about actually saving, though, because of how bad off we are for ammo and shit. I mean, I guess we could just save, like, load the other save, right? So there's, yeah, I guess there's no reason not to go ahead and save here. We'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Uh, put these in here for now. Since we don't have any green herbs to make them useful. And use that so that we're not so close to death. Nothing suspicious. Is there a typewriter? There it is. Curtain is closed. Cannot see the room next door. Couldn't you just, like, reach over and use the curtain? I don't know. Just a thought, bro. Okay, with as many ink ribbons as it's giving us, I'm kind of worried we're going to be stuck with Carlos for a while. Unless the stuff he picks up gets transferred back to Jill later. Um, I'm actually going to do, like, whole new saves, I think. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a couple extra, like, just new slots. Come on, man. There's got to be some ammo or something around here. Medical cards? That's not useful. Son of a bitch. Alright. That's fine. Everything's fine. I like having 7% of a clip. Especially when there's new zombros that we had to deal with. Various medicines. And none of them can help Jill. Alright, we're going this way. Let's see what kind of crazy monster is going to fuck us this time, eh? Ooh, some beautiful blue herbs. For that poison that we still haven't gotten once. What are we looking at map-wise? There's one door, and apparently we can't go through it. So there's got to be something in this room. Oh, it's a elevator. Voice recognition lock. Will you push the microphone button? Sure. Please enter your voice. Uh, hello? <laughs> okay, so we probably need to find some sort of recording or something. I mean, I doubt they would have a cure in some rando office. They might. Oh, God. <laughs> Why am I... My throat. My throat suddenly said, fuck you. Take the tape recorder, yes. Thank you for putting the solution to the puzzle in the same room that I'm in. I appreciate that. Okay, this... This hospital's kind of big, eh? Um, ammo? Handgun bullets. Bro, that's really not what I wanted. I'll be honest. Like, I kind of was hoping for some assault rifle ammo. Now, again, I don't know why they would have that in some random office. 
but at the same time, I don't know why they have... His neck has been devoured from the inside out? That's not fucking healthy. You need to get that checked. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, I don't know why somebody would have a random stack of handgun ammo in here either. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Thank God for, for a doctor using a voice recorder. <laughs> Alright, and... Which floor will you move? Uh, I guess we'll go to the basement first. I'm, I'm sure nothing bad will happen in the basement, right? Oh, hi! <laughs> I take it back. There's a lot of bad happening here in the basement. Uh, I'm glad we picked up that extra ammo. And I'm also glad that these zombies can't seem to path their way into here. Because <laughs> otherwise we would be really fucked right about now. Oh, good. You're getting back up. Okay. So you weren't dead. The music calmed down, so I'm guessing everyone's dead. And look, we got less than one clip left. Beautiful. Hand trucks and old observation devices? What's a hand truck? Can't say I've ever heard of one of those before. Large machines are built into the wall. That's helpful. Thanks. Oh, God. I don't want to go through any more doors. <laughs> There's always bad things on the other side of doors. This is quiet, which is scaring me more than just something showing up. Huh, okay. Nothing interactable that I can see. I had no idea another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah. You Who's the traitor? The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Oh. Damn, boy. So Nikolai is a traitor, apparently. And also, there was a bomb in the wall? Why exactly? You wouldn't happen to be carrying any other ammo. Like, I know you're a friend of ours and all. But, like, I could really use some extra ammo. <laughs> okay. I guess not. That's fine, too. Thanks, anyways. Random guy that I don't remember. Oh. That looks healthy. I'm, I'm sure that's perfectly normal to have in a hospital basement. High-precision microscope. Uh, is this thing gonna break out and, like, kill me? Unknown creatures are in the fish tank. Would you really call that a fish tank? Like, I've never seen a fish tank like that before. Medium base. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to mix up some sort of cure or something ourselves. Uh, memo? Medical instruction manual. Umbrella Medical Service, North America Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. Supply enough energy to the system. Set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. Okay. So add the base, control the levers, make the vaccine. Will you switch the... Yes. And then we get fucked, right? Yep. Called it. 
Those guys are totally gonna bust out and try to kill me. And there's absolutely no doubt in my mind. Uh, what's below? A. Oh. Yes, turn A again. Try B. What's B do? Okay. Sure, above. What's uh, 2 do? Hey, look at that. Perfect. That's... Oh, wait, no. We want it on the... Where the arrow is, I bet. Okay, 1. Okay. Uh, 3. Nope. Uh, maybe turn off 2. Okay, we're getting close. And then... Let's go back below. And what did A do again? A. Okay, that's too much. What about B? Hey, look at that. <laughs> we got it puzzle master here boy okay so that's the vaccine that we need to give jill i'm assuming i mean yeah we're gonna take the vaccine why the fuck wouldn't we take the vaccine um and then these guys are gonna pop out of their cages and try to kill us caught it could we have turned the power switch back to stop that from happening i wonder go through the door you dumbass we don't have ammo we can't fight them we just have to run. <laughs> Holy shit. That scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything is a-okay. Uh, okay, so we got the vaccine medium. But we still need the vaccine, right? Like, itself? Because I'm guessing the medium is just, like, part of it? Plus, like, vaccines you don't normally just, like, give to people to drink. I'm assuming she's gonna have to... Have it injected or something. So, I guess we're going up to the top floor. Uh, hit, hit the button, maybe, bro? Yeah, fourth floor. Go! And you gotta remember, this isn't some random hospital. This is a hospital near a secret government, uh, well, government, a secret umbrella or place thing oh uh, god okay whatever just go in the first door that's open <laughs> i'm sure nothing bad is waiting for us here oh god leeches <laughs> i hate leeches shoot them god damn leeches one more shoot him before he gets you okay how much ammo do we have left five we have five now beautiful I really hope there's something useful in this room. The numbers 325 are printed on the slip. Okay, that will probably come in handy. 325. Ooh, some healing herbs. That's actually very nice. Um, not particularly useful at the moment. Ammunition would be much more useful, but... Something seems to have been placed here. Okay, well, that's not... What do you mean something seems to have been placed here? What's that What's that even mean? Like, yeah, I'm sure there's stuff that's been placed all over the hospital. Something seems to have been placed here? Huh. Okay. That's not weird at all. Uh, if we look at our map, there's nothing we can do at the end of this hallway, but it might tell us, like, what kind of key we need. That reads 402. Okay, well, I'm assuming we have to go to room 325. Was it 325? Make sure that you return the materials to their original positions after inspection. That's okay. I don't know. I guess we're just going to the data room. Hello? No zombies allowed. I, I hear footsteps. Oh, you're a bad guy. <laughs> Uh, hi. Goodbye. I know creatures are soaked in formalin. What, the, the, what? What does that mean? The sick room key? Sure. Thank you. Uh, it appears to be a book on medicine and shit. 
Oh shit, we're out of ammo. <laughs> uh, okay, equip that. I was hoping that like we could get him to touch that thing, the, the, the bomb, and we could actually use the bomb to not kill ourselves this time. The zombies are walking. There's a picture. It says the effect of the T-virus on the backside. Oh, <laughs> I totally like misread that to myself. When it said the effects of the T-virus on the backside, I thought it meant like, like this is what it does to, to your ass. Dude, we are stuck. We are literally stuck. And we're out of ammo. Oh my lord. Okay, is there anything else we can do in here? Or is this it? Like, that, that was it for this area. Good. Good. I'm so glad we came in here. <laughs> it's too dark to see anything outside. That's handy too. Thanks for that, game. We're completely out of ammo at this point. So, like, I think we're fucked. <laughs> That's what you thought too, Rue? Like, that's that, the way it was worded. That's totally what it looked like, right? Like, like, hey, this is what the T-Virus does to your ass. <laughs> Use the sick room key. You no longer need it. Will you discard it? Yes, we'll discard it. And then we'll die, probably, because, like, shit. We don't have any ammo. We found no ammo at all. Since we've become Carlos. Besides, well, we did find that one thing of, uh, that one thing of handgun ammo, but that's it. Something seems to have been placed here. I still don't understand what that message means or how that's helpful at all. Arclay Mountains? Okay. Like, thanks for that game. What? Yes. There's stuff placed all over the place. What does that have to do with anything? Are they switches? Can we like step on them? Can can we push this around? Hold on, if I get on the other side of this. So this cart kind of looks like it could be pushed, right? Okay. Three, two, five. Something seems to have been placed here. I mean, does it matter which one we push it on? Ow. I guess so. I don't think there's any way to pull it back though, right? Maybe we can reload the room. Like we just exit and then come back in. I, I'll be honest, I don't really understand this puzzle all that much. Was there something in this room that we could push around too, maybe? Three, two, five, huh? That's what his note said. Printed on the slip, yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything that we can push around here. Okay, so there's something in the back right corner, the back left corner. Is it every corner? Okay, well, he has it on that one by the door, so maybe we just need to mimic that one. Maybe that's what we need to do. That's the only hint we've gotten so far, so that's what we're gonna that's what we're going to attempt, I guess. Hopefully it did reload the the room since we left and came back. Yes, it did. Good, good, good. Okay. So, all right. So we want to we want to get you like Pushing over a little bit. Got, nope. Push. Push, please. Uh, yeah, right about there. Looks good. And then push you uh, this away a little. Just, just just keep going. You got this. You got this guy. You're, you're like a big, big strong bro, right? And then push you over here. I'm assuming this is meant to be the same one as the other room. Uh, can you not push it that way? Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We should probably push it the rest of the way over. So that it doesn't end up getting jammed against, like, the... One of the shelves or something like that. Or, or cabinets or whatever the fuck you want to call those things over there. And before we get zapped again and die. 
something seems to have been placed here. No shit! I just placed it there. We're actually in caution. That didn't seem to do anything. Shit, dude. So, <laughs> what do we do? Hey, was there a save area around here anywhere? Um, first floor. Is that where the elevator takes us out at? Is th is that a safe room? I don't remember. But we need we need to we need to try to heal. And I really don't want to use the two greens on their own. So we're gonna we're gonna go back down to the first floor. Hopefully not die and hopefully be in a safe room so that we can uh, mix this shit. Uh, this doesn't look like a safe room. Alan Spear, you have more uh, ammo in there now, do you? No? Okay. Oh, buddy. Alright, this is the safe room. Let's get the red herbs, make a couple full heals real quick. Playing it a little safe. I'd rather not have to... I mean, it's not like we actually did that much. Now that we know what we're doing, it would only take us a couple minutes to redo it. But... I'd rather not if we don't have to, though. Where's the chest? Chesty chest. The chest of chests. We're keeping both of our guns with us. Because if we find any ammo at all, then, like, we're gonna need it. As far as that room goes, there's only two, two locations left that we can try to place it. I'm sure there's some sort of hint that I'm just fucking blind and not seeing. But I have no idea what it would be, so... Uh, back to here. And then 402. Alright, let's try... So, I mean, we haven't tried this one right here. And then the other one by the door. But, like, the one with the doctor and it had to be a hint of some sort. So maybe the two doors are just, like... I don't know, backwards or something? I don't know. I'm 100% I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, there's only one other thing we can try, or one other position, if this one doesn't work. Ah, bro, we didn't get shocked. Okay. What are you? <laughs> it's locked with a number base lock. Oh, 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 okay, three. Two, five. Bruh, look at us go. Fucking puzzle masters. <laughs> I mean, sure, we tried three out of four possibilities, but like. Okay, so do we just mix those two things together now and then Jill is scot free? Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, other buddy. I really can't fight you. Like, literally. I can't fight you. I literally can't fight them. What am I supposed to do? But just fuck me, I suppose. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> we can't fight them because we have no ammo. But if they're in the way of the door, we can't close the door, so. Fucking get in there quick, bro. We're dead. They, they just chopped my fucking head off. Fuck. Pissed. <laughs> 
Okay. It's fine. At least we know what to do now. And this time, we can try not to waste so much ammo getting there. Resident Evil. Because it seems like we might actually need some ammo once we get there. So let's load from the chapel. And, uh... This time we know we don't have to, like, kill everything. I just didn't know what to do the last time that we came through here. That's why I killed, like, literally everything. Okay. Let's go. Run past everything if possible. <sighs> we also need to remember, though, that we're not really getting any heals until we get to the hospital area. So we do need to be a little bit careful with our health. But taking like one or two little hits, not that big of a deal. Especially from like regular zombies, because you can push them off you so quick that the damage is like, yeah, nothing. We, we, we got grabbed twice and we were, we're still in the fine state, so. Oh, we can't get around that way. Who would put a table like that? You know, if you just left a little gap between the table and the stairs, it would really open up the room. Just saying. Just an idea, you know? Maybe something you should consider for your interior decorating uh, needs. And I believe it's through this door we're going, right? Yeah. Yep, this one. And then, what was it? Spiders or creepazoids or whatever. Something was still alive here. Uh, Actually, you know what? I would really like if you would just let me past you. Surprisingly, they didn't do that much damage. Like, I, I expected us to be hurt at this point. Like, at least grabbing our side or something. No, we're still fine. Are we suddenly immune to, like, all damage? Did we accidentally unlock god mode by dying earlier? I don't... <laughs> I, don't I don't know. But you know what? It's fine. I will, I will accept it graciously. Thank you, game. Was there anything... That we need to stop and pick up. I, I, I know that we found some, uh, we found some ammo in that one locker. And then we found somewhere, we found, uh, some ribbon, some ink ribbon. But that was it, right? There was nothing else that we, um, that we had found or, or anything. Yes, yes, yes. X gonna give it to you. I know. Yeah. Zombro about to get his head cut off. Very scary. Ah. Uh, which door are we going through? This one right here. So screw you. I don't care. Just <laughs> let me go through the door. Please, game. I don't want to deal with it anymore. All right, now we're actually hurt, though. But we're also at a save zone. So, uh, and I think this is where we got the ribbon from. Oh, that's right. Another full heal, too. Dope. Yeah, take that. Definitely take that. We're in caution. We're not doing that bad. Nothing suspicious. Yes, I think it was right here, right? It was like at the thing that we got the other ink ribbon? Yeah, look at that. Okay. Alright, so we're already back to where our other save was. Like, that's why I said we would probably just restart from the chapel. And this time we have, like, full ammo. So, yeah, much better. <laughs> Um, drop off our stuff. By stuff, I just mean ink ribbons, really. And not the full heal spray. Definitely keep the full heal spray. Is it this door? Or is this the door we just came through? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Yep, that one. <laughs> Alright, uh, and then I guess we'll just do things in the same order that we did them last time, though. Like, I don't know if it's better to do them one way or the other but like we're we're gonna go to the basement do that section and then come back up here oh oh bless me uh yes take the handgun bullets very nice uh take the voice recorder or tape recorder whatever the fuck you want to call it close enough same damn thing, really. Hit the microphone. And then 
then play this. Easy. We got this. Slight fracture, right arm just below the elbow. Yep, yep, yep. All very nice. To the basement we go. Hopefully not to get fucked again. <laughs> uh, B3, please. Oh, and then uh, the handgun, though. The handgun was good enough to deal with all of these guys down here last time. So let's equip that. Wait. Guys. This is different than last time. Uh, I don't like when things are different. Did it, like, put me on easy mode when I died as Carlos or something? I'm... I'm very confused. Okay, the cutscene's still the same. Okay, here's the, the two green thingies. I just realized, too, we don't have the two red herbs that I picked up last time. I don't remember where we picked those up from, but uh, that's important to remember. Okay. This is very strange. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the sub, love. Five months because you're the best. You are the best. Thank you so much, man. I didn't even realize it was time for your for your uh, your sub to come back up. But thank you. I appreciate it. Does that mean you're on your last break at work? How's work going today anyways, Noodle? Are you having are you having the time of your life? Are you having all kinds of fun? I hope you are. I hope it's the best day of work you've ever had in your entire life. I doubt it, but I hope it is. <laughs> what is the best day of work you've ever had in your entire life? My best day of work I've ever had in my entire life is probably the days that I don't have to go. Uh, <laughs> that, and uh, there was actually one day that was kind of fun. All I had to do all day was uh, drive around heavy equipment, and like that's kind of, you know. like as far as, as far as days that you have to do stuff goes, that's a pretty decent day. Like, I didn't have to deal with customers or any BS or anything like that. Just just drive shit around, man. That was pretty dope. I'd happily do that again. Uh, I think it was B. No, maybe it was A? Or maybe we got the top one fucked up. I don't remember. <laughs> nope, okay, yeah, 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 it was just A instead of B. Look at that. Okay, can we... I don't know if this will work or not, but can we hit this power button that's next to the synthesizer if the game ever loads? Fingers crossed. Please load. <laughs> yes, we'll take the vaccine medicine. Holy shit, game. You're scaring me. Um, no, we can't hit the power switch to put these guys like back in, in water. Okay, so just run away. It's fine. They're fine. Weird frog dudes are friends. Damn it, I did it again. Go through the door. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> it's the same thing that happened last time. Why is that single door so hard to go through? Oh my lord. Okay, we're still in caution though. We're not we're not like in in danger mode yet. Um got to remember though that like last time we came down here, this whole room was flooded with zombies. So it might be flooded with zombies now. I hope not. Was it upstairs? Maybe the upstairs is what was flooded with zombies. But I feel like it was down here, right? I don't know, man. It's worrisome. Like, when things are different. It's not what I expect. Oh no, I didn't want to go to the fourth floor. Shit, I wanted to go to the first floor so we could save again because I'm a baby and I'm scared. Okay, just just go, go back to first floor, please. I want to drop off all the crap in our inventory, and I want to save. Cause we, oh good, now now they're all here. 
I guess I guess maybe what floor they appear on is random or something. Uh, I was gonna say it's gotta be time to reload by now, bro. Like, also, uh, yeah, I was gonna say we're probably in caution at this point too. So, god damn it, it was not. I don't think it was on this floor before. I don't want to use the machine gun, though, the assault rifle. I want to save that for for the bigger dudes. I wonder if it's just random. Like, if it can happen on any floor. And it's just random which one it ends up happening on. I bet you that's what it is, honestly. Okay, they're all dead, though. Hopefully that only happens once. And we never had to deal with it again. <laughs> Uh, save room. Let's drop off stuff first. I guess we'll keep the two green herbs with us, even though I'd really rather not use them. Um, oh, I guess we did have inventory space. Eh, never mind. I lied. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we're going to keep them with us just in case we end up needing to. Like, if it becomes a necessity, hopefully we can save them until we get the red herbs. If we get the red herbs again. Maybe that was out there in that section with the dogs. The section that I'm hoping not to go back to. I'm assuming the shit that we pick up as Carlos here doesn't get transferred back to Jill anyways. And anything we pick up with him may become unaccessible to Jill. And if that's the case, then it's like, it's probably best not to pick up anything that we don't need need. You know? So we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh okay, yeah, this way, and then into the elevator, and then upstairs. And I mean we kind of know the puzzle already. Could it have changed? I guess with this game it probably did, huh? So we probably will have to go back into the room with the doctor and the freaking leeches. The leeches that I'd really rather not have to deal with. But the, uh, the combination probably going to be different. And even if the combination's not different, I bet you the, uh, the whatchamacallit's different. The, the, the stuff on the floor, like where we push the, the thing to. Or both. Maybe both are different. Fuck if I know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there was somebody in here. You. You were in here. Wasn't there actually, like, two of you in here? Um... Yeah, sick room key. Okay. And that was the only thing of importance in here. But might as well pick up the picture too, just for just for shits and gigs. And then just get the hell out, because I think there's another one hiding in here. Oh. <laughs> We're free. We made it. It was close, but we did it. Alright, leech time. And be careful of that explosive on the wall. <laughs> We don't, we don't want to explode ourselves again. Oh. No leeches. Just, just a zombie. And the zombie appears to be dead? Huh. Oh, now you're not dead. You know, I thought you weren't dead, and that's why I tried to shoot you when you were still on the ground. Also, we're out of ammo, so might as well put that away now. Okay, so the thing is in this corner, but as we discovered last time, it seems to be opposite of this room. So I guess we'll put it on... Son of a bitch, I should have known you would be alive. Anyway, so I guess we'll put it over here in the other room. Right? And then what's the combination? Five, three, one. Yeah, okay, so both were different. Good thing we came in here then. Five, three, one. The uh, left corner. 531, back, left, front, left? What would you call that? Uh, I guess the back of the room, right? Because it's farther away from the door. So then we'll put it over there. And hope for the best. Oh, shit, I'm a dumbass. I can't get in there to push it, can I? Ugh, that's fine. 
All we gotta do is leave the room and come back. Just a slight annoyance. I didn't realize it was gonna get stuck on that thing. I thought it would like stop before then, but nah, I just squeezed in behind it there. I've always hated these puzzles, like in Pokemon too. The ones where like you only get the one chance to push stuff around. If you fuck it up, you gotta reset the room. Cause it's like, bro, I already know I'm gonna fuck it up. Like, <laughs> like it's gonna happen. Just let me, let me reset it, man. Or uh, give me the option to pull stuff instead of just pushing stuff. Like that would fix the problem right there. Hey, okay, good. It worked. So it is the, I wonder why it's the opposite corner from the other one. Instead of just being the same. Or like the opposite side. It's still back room, front room or whatever, still the same. But was it 531? I forget. 531? Yes. Thank goodness. Uh, will you take the vaccine base? Yes. And then if we mix the two together, do we just like combine like that? Uh, okay. It says we have a vaccine. Um, dope. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all we needed, man. Let's uh, run from you and from you and then shoot. No, don't shoot up. Just shoot. Okay. Thank freaking goodness. This time, hopefully the door will shut, right? Oh, thank God. Okay. And please, no more no more random hordes, <laughs> if you don't mind, game. Do we save one more time as Carlos? Do we just say fuck it and use up all of the uh, ink ribbons that we have? I think we do. <laughs> I think we do. Cause like Carlos, you seem cool and all, man. But if I never gotta deal with you again, that would be that'd be a okay with me. So let's grab an ink ribbon and get the hell out of here. Uh, I guess we can just carry the ink ribbon at this point too. We don't need to go back to the box. Yes, use the ink ribbon. And we can probably just save over the chapel one at this point. I don't think we need to go all the way back to the beginning of Carlos' section again. Not at this point. And then which way are we going? Is it this door? I always get them mixed up. Yeah. Then we got to remember, too, we didn't kill the dudes in here, so we just need to book it. Book it basically all the way back to Jill. Because we didn't kill anybody. Oh, seems to be a time-based bomb. Excellent. Six, five, four, just get the fuck out. <laughs> I don't know who's blowing up the place or why. I ain't gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna go. Let the let it blow up. That's fine by me, man. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're, we're back here. Okay, and it says all of the doors are broke now. So I guess there's nowhere to go but here. Cool. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, for real though, man. Who's like, why are they blowing up the hospital though, right? Oh. Oh, here's the leeches. The leeches are back. Hi, guys. You're fucking everywhere now, too, eh? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. We left We left the Creepazoids alive. Um, so we kind of got to... Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me... Oh, shit, dude. We're going to die. We're going to die because I can't get around these guys. Yep, that's it. GG. Fuck. Thankfully, we saved right before leaving the hospital section. All right. I guess we actually have to kill these ones. I thought we could run around them a little bit easier. Because, I mean, we ran past them to get to the hospital easily enough. I thought, you know, we'd be able to run past them to get back to Jill easily enough. But fuck me, I guess.
But that's fine. Thankfully, we saved right before exiting. So it's not much to redo. I'm hoping we can get to, Resident like, evil. back to whenever we get a control jail. I don't know how long this Carlo section is. But, uh... I'm hoping we can get back to the Jill thing before we have to end for the night. But with that said, we only have like 10 minutes left, so I don't know. Ugh. This is why we save well and save often? Yes. Very true. Again, you gotta be careful with that in this game, though. You can get into situations where you're just like completely fucked and or run out of save ribbons. But, assuming that the Carlos section isn't gonna be super long, then it's like, who cares? Use up his shit. Doesn't matter to us. I don't know if there's, like, anything we can do in this section other than just running away. It's like, it giving us six seconds to run away seems like a bit much. I don't know if, like, maybe there's some sort of secret thing we can find in that back corner or something. But, like, I ain't, I ain't gonna try it, man. <laughs> like, seems like a bad idea. Ba-doom. Like, is this the mercenaries? Is it the, uh, the traitor mercenary? Is he trying to make sure people can't cure themselves or something? I'm just, I'm very confused about, about this whole hospital blowing up thing. Like, I don't see how that's really helping anybody. Oh god, run away, run away, run away. Leeches everywhere. Okay, fuck you. I can't see you, but I know you're here. So just, just die. Hopefully, we don't end up needing this ammo for anything else super important. I think the rest of the area is just like the regular zombies and shit, right? So we still have 71%. That's good. That's good. We're doing all right. Uh, is it Nemesis walking around? I just, I, I don't know, man. I just don't like how, like, there's shit happening in here, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, like, why does it sound like there's something giant walking around above us? That's not good. Oh, well, looks like we're about to find out. Is it Wormy, bro? Nope, it's Nemesis. He's back. Yup. Yup, yup. Uh, nope. Run the fuck away. <laughs> we learn our lesson with Nemesis, man. We don't fuck with him if we don't have to. Period. Wait, are, weren't there zombies here before? Oh, there's Nemesis here now, that's why. Get in the fucking hallway, you <laughs> ass. Oh, God. Yep. If zombies are gone, that means danger. Yeah, I don't think that door is going to hold Nemesis for too long. Uh, okay. Yep, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No worries. I'm chill. I'm chill. You chill? Everyone's chill? Hey, look at this. Uh, We're going to do a safety save with Carlos. Plus, uh, this is actually, yeah, you know what? This has actually got to be the end of it, man. We only got like six minutes left, and I doubt we're going to have much time to do anything else. We'll do a little sneak peek for whatever's going to happen next by, uh, by giving her the vaccine. But this is, this is going to have to be it, man. We are out of time for the night. It was good. It was a good stream. It was a good, uh, I'm really liking the game, though I, uh... I was hoping I could finish it up tonight, but it's going to have to be next week. Next week, guys. Let's see what happens with the vaccine as we uh, as we get ready to go. Hey, are you okay? Yes, barely. What's going on? No way! That <laughs> <There's... monster> just <laughs> doesn't give up! <laughs> the vaccine does not work that quick. There's no way. Thing. 
No, You'll never kill Nemesis. Y'all are connected somehow, man. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? Yes. No. Yes, I, I think it's think unstoppable. So. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and <laughs> bad news. Nikolai is Jesus. still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? She yes. dies, she has to be. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. There's Remember, no way, man. Trust him. There's no way. Like, this game's getting cheesy as fuck. <laughs> but alright, so we're back in control of Jill. That's good. Um. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I don't... Oh, God, I hate everything. But alright, guys. Again... You're calling some serious bull? It is. It is. It's all some serious bull. Like, why... Oh, man. Nemesis is just a giant pain in the ass. Why would he be toying with us? He's gotta be trying to kill us. Nikolai, why is he, like, killing random people? Like, why isn't he helping? Like, does he want the zombies to take over? I don't really... Is he being paid by Umbrella to kill all fucking witnesses or something? I don't... There's so many questions. I just don't understand. And, like, the... The vaccine working that quick kind of annoys me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, come on. Come on. Oh. And then the biggest bullshit is, like, after all of that, we did all that shit with Carlos to save her. And then as soon as he saves her, he's just like, hey, sorry, Joe, but I have to go take care of some stuff. Bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just fucks off. Just leaves us alone. Barely cured from this uh, virus with the, the, the fucking nemesis right outside our door and he's just fucking off doing whatever the hell he wants to do that is fucking stupid like bullshit <laughs> oh man but all right we'll have to figure out what happens next time i suppose next saturday most likely going to be wrapping the game up uh and then if we have extra time i don't know i have no idea what we'll be doing maybe maybe some sort of ps2 game we'll see i guess no idea but yeah Thank you for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Nate, Rue, anybody else that stopped by? Mr. Noodle, of course. I don't think you can hear, but thank you for uh, for coming in when you could, as well as for the resub. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful night, guys. Bye-bye.